week's episode of Omega Dawn, our Star Frontiers Upper Hawks campaign. When we left the intrepid budget crew, I believe they're still called, uh, last time, um, they had just agreed to join up with the uh, Clarion Royal Marines um, to test out some uh, experimental mind tech that they'd uh, let themselves be subjected to. Um, so, um, you've just spent the last tw uh, 50 days or so going through uh, basic training and learning about life uh, in the Royal Marines. Um, that's basically all um, listed out along uh, the handout that I sent everybody um, and been assigned to... Uh, cabins and everything else on the uh, Clarion Station. Now, I have given you guys a map of Clarion Station if you want to go looking for it. It's in the system. Um, it's probably not a bad idea to pull it up, actually. Um, give you an, a rough idea of what the layout of the place is like. Uh, and also, there's also the deck plans of um, an Assault Scout, which is a size 3, pardon me, which is a size three um, warship. Um, so, yeah. So after your basic training and uh, and the rest of it, you are assigned to the assault assault scout Osprey, uh, as well as cabins on Clarion Station itself. Um, so yes, yeah. anyone got any questions at this stage? Alright. So uh your commanding officer um is Lieutenant uh Max Taby, uh who's a human male, uh and his executive is junior lieutenant uh Rhonda Cast, uh who's a human female. Um the uh there are there are no other members of the crew apart from yourselves. So the eight of you form the crew of the Osprey. Um, the Osprey uh, is one of several um, ships in the um, in the uh, mil uh, Clarion militia fleet. Uh, the flagship being the CMS Leo, which is a frigate, uh, and there's two other um, assault scouts: uh, the CMS Falcon and the CMS Wasp. Um, so. Um, so, uh, frigate and three assault, uh, three assault scouts is a medium to above medium sized militia amongst the uh, frontier systems. Um, basically, ten um, ten of the star systems in the frontier have um, interstellar uh, ships in their militia fleets. The rest of them have simple, simply system ships. Uh, so non uh, non hyper capable, non ju non jump capable ships. So um, so yeah. So the uh, Clarion um, or Gollywog, as it's uh, known to the outsiders, and that's considered a derogatory term by the uh, the inhabitants of the the Clarion system, the White Light system. Um, the White Light uh, um, militia um, is, uh, is is reasonably important in terms of size um, and obviously part of the overall defense um, defense of the of the um, of the frontier um, so there's uh, 10 militia forces as I said plus um, plus the three UPF um, flagships and fleets and various task forces um, if anyone's really interested I can rustle that information up for you during the downtime and email it to you Probably not a bad idea. Anyway, um, it's one of the things you would have picked up in your in your um, basic training for the uh, the Royal Marines. Uh, CMS, by the way, stands for Clarion Marine Ship. Just in case you're wondering. Um, so yeah, um, so you've got the uh, you've got the Clarion Station map there, um, which shows the the station and um, a couple of sample decks, plus the uh, the assault scout. 
um, deck as well, and uh, typical cabins and things like that on it. Uh, the other map I've given you um, is um, uh, a map of two standard freighters, a small freighter and a large freighter. Um, just again, it's it's a pretty they're pretty standardised um, ships. Um, so um, generic maps in effect because the ships themselves are pretty generic. Um, has anyone got any questions on any of that? Anyone need any clarification on things? Nope. Nope. Okay. Um, on the uh, on the freighters map, um, you can see uh, in addition to the uh, floor plans of the decks. Um, you can also see the, um, the the general outline of the freighters and what makes the difference between a small and a small freighter and a and a large freighter, respectively. Although the the uh, the colours they've got the colours wrong on the um, on the uh, on the bits and pieces. So the green something? little ones are supposed to be blue, actually, to represent the small one. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 so the that's the, the big the, one. Yeah, well, that's the big one. That's right, because it's it's got the bigger cargo deck. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so an, in an interesting, uh, interesting bit of uh, uh, stuff up there. Um, so yeah, so that gives you some stuff to work with, um, with whatever you want to go on and do with yourselves. So um, now what am I doing with? Yeah, okay. So um, Lieutenant Katie, the CEO, your CEO, your CEO, um, um, he's polite. Uh, but a little bit aloof, um, whereas uh, Lieutenant Ra, Junior Lieutenant Ra, uh, Class um, is more 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 friendly, um, still maintaining the chain of command, of course. Um, so yeah, uh, twenty days training, not fifty. There you go. Um, so um, basically. Uh, what happens during um, during your time um, is that um, you generally spend about four or five days patrolling um, aboard the Osprey, uh, and then you have two days off uh, on the on the station. Quick question. Um, yeah. So they're paying us too, right? Yeah. How much? I'll give. I'll work it out later. Yeah. Um. So yes, um, the station itself um, is a typical commercial uh, commercial station, um, as well as being a, a military a military outpost. Um, so um, there's um, yeah, a lot of civilians around. Um, the commercial deck, obviously, it's got a lot of you know um, shops and restaurants and things like that. Um, think of it. Think of it like a giant mall, I suppose, is one of the best ways of thinking about it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a military station. It's a... It's a combined station. It's a, yeah, it's a space habitat. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, there's, there's quite a few. I mean, um, there's quite a few Marines uh, around, generally, uh, around the time. Um they're easy to spot because they wear their uniforms like they're supposed to when they're off duty. Um, not dress uniforms, of course, but yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't know what else I can tell you. No one's got any other questions? Oh, Anyone do right? they supply skin suits? Yeah, it's part of cool. the uniform. I, I, I'm just making sure that we're not paying for new skin suits and they're handing it out like it's cookies. No, 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 no. No, uh, yeah. There's the military skin suit and sidearm that you're supposed That's to right. be wearing at all times. That's and correct. But we're a lot. Are we able to carry, uh, you know, like our rifles and? Not around the station, you're not. But on our ships, we're allowed to take our normal loadout. If you like. Would be pretty weird. Um. Yeah, and uh, the the standard issue was a, a laser pistol, but. I remember it saying that you're perfectly able to get a different type weapon if you want. Yeah, this, the, the standard issue is a laser pistol with a clip and a spare clip, spare, a spare power clip, along with the military skin suit, which is the uniform. Yep. Um, but yes, you can swap out the pistol for a gyrojet or an auto pistol yeah, cool. uh, with, a, with a second magazine. 
as as required. So I'll leave that to you to, you guys to decide which one you want to take on that one. Yeah, I'd be pretty shitty with the laser pistol. So. Yeah, I assume you're going to. I assumed you were going to take the auto pistol. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, the the just so you know, your auto the auto pistol you do have um also comes with a small oxygen cylinder. Ah, cool. Yeah. So it can be used in it can be used in a vacuum. Nice. Oh well. Um, you know those. You, have you ever seen those little um little green? They look like uh, little torpedoes you get um for uh compressed gas for um uh, uh seltzer bottles. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's just on the side of the pistol. It doesn't unbalance it. It it, it keeps it nice and balanced, but it's just something extra there. They get changed out once every um once every magazine as well. So you've got to spare one of those as well. Which does mean it takes slightly longer to reach. To it, it takes two actions to reload. Uh, one for the gas, one for the bullets. Okay. You okay? That's only if you need. That's only if you need to use it in in, in a vacuum, of course. All right. So when the uh, when you're in when you're in an atmosphere, an oxygen atmosphere, um, there's a selector switch to turn off the gas. So you're not wasting gas when you don't need to. Got it. Okay. Um, that goes for any any um, uh, um, vacuum fitted auto rifles too, which you don't have at the moment. But um, that's the, that that would work the same way. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know what else I can tell you about that one. So um, you're out on patrol. Uh, um, during your first or second patrol, doesn't really matter. Uh, when um, um, you uh, are assigned to perform some custom duties uh, on an incoming freighter, um, it's uh, a um, according to the according to the information that you are that um, headquarters provides you. Um, it's the uh, the Harmony uh, coming in from uh, Gran Quiven um, uh, to uh, to Clarion. Uh, it's, it's about two two hours out. Um, generally, it's about two hours out from the station uh, when um, when the uh, the Osprey uh, pulls up alongside um, and um, a uh, lieutenant. Lieutenant Tebby, uh, or Tabby, I prefer, uh, performs a, a docking maneuver, um, and um, you are, uh, as per regular as per uh, regular procedure, um, you are um, ordered aboard to, to uh, conduct a, a customs inspection. Um, so you're going to need at least a couple of a couple of uh, spacesuits because most of the uh, freighters don't run with their cargo holds pressurized. It's a waste of energy. So how would you like to handle this, guys? Because you're coming up the airlock on the small freighter map, uh, which is on the crew deck, obviously. Okay. Uh Let's see, airlock, airlock, airlock. Oh, I can't find it myself, there. Be there somewhere. Yeah, that's for that's probably just pilot the ship, Millennium Falcon style. Um, yes, well, there's several. Bit. Yeah, that looks like it is. It does. Um, it'll be there somewhere. Doesn't matter exactly where, but you're coming on the crew deck anyway. Is where you're coming out, either via the lift or. Or uh, or something. It's probably by the lift. Actually, it'll be it will be by the lift. Maybe it's well, um. It's, no, it's it'll be right by there. The, lift. the you know the outcropping pod, right? How there's that that many doors? Oh, ah, yeah, there Maybe. Is. Yep, yep, that's it. I knew it was there somewhere. Yeah, that'd be it. And maybe yeah, that's actually not the bridge. That's something else. So yeah. I don't know what that little pod is used for. 
No, neither do I. I'm trying to work it out. That might be an it might be oh that's the uh, launch. That's what that is. Oh, is that like ship, a little escape pod ship, shuttle? Ship launch. No, well ship launch ship launch is what it is. It's a ship's launch. Yeah, so escape pod if you want it, but I mean or shuttle. Ship ship shuttle if you if you want oh, to convert okay, it that yep, one. Okay. Yeah, so that's so where yeah, you go in and out. Yep. In. Yeah. Okay. So yes. Um so you're met uh so um you uh, enter the Outer airlock, which is um, oh bloody snap lock, I don't like it. Um, I really don't like what they've done with FG. I really don't. Um, the outer airlock there, and I'm assuming you're cycling your way into the inner airlock. Yep. Who's who's got uh, spacesuits on, and what are you guys carrying? Are all sets of us going in? That's As the standard orders. deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, then... Who would go check the cargo? Or is it standard procedure for everyone to be in spacesuits? No, not standard procedure for everyone to be in spacesuits. Generally, generally what happens... Uh, it, it, it's, I mean, according to regs, um, at least uh, one person should stay by the airlock. Uh, one, uh, one or two people should go to the bridge and... A couple of people should check out the cargo hold. All right. Um, so, well, Babu has people skills, so I think he should be a good fit for going to the bridge. Um, that can the the airlock. Airlock. So I think he's going to do the inspection part unless anyone else wants to. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, I. I might send I might send Jazz to the cargo hold too, because if there's illegal weapons, he would know what would be illegal or not. Well, you've all been given that information. Oh, okay. Um, um, personal weapon. I mean weapons. Uh, weapons. Okay. Uh, contraband cargo. Uh, personal weapons, not crew weapons, but you know, sidearms are fine. Crew sidearms are fine, but like you know crates of personal weapons is uh 20 years to life imprisonment um heavy weapons uh smuggling is death by vacuum um steel corp steel corp properties 10 to 20 years in prison uh raw uranium is five to ten years in prison uh sapphire or sapphire agents is death by vacuum and addictive drugs is 10 to 20 years in prison okay Sathar agents would be lucky to see the airlock before they're dead. <laughs> but yeah, who wants to go where? So, so yeah, who wants to go where? I'll guard the airlock, that's fine. You want to guard okay. the airlock? Doc uh, wants to do bridge cargo. Is a good place for Babu. Mm -hmm. Babu to the bridge. Cerise will go... Suriz is going to go to the cargo <laughs> hold and Volk will go to the bridge. All right. So, uh, so the three of you in three of you in spacesuits, are you? Yeah. All right. Um, the ship is under the ship is under um, under one G deceleration still, so you've got gravity. Um, when you exit the uh, exit the airlock uh, onto the crew deck, you're met by um, a uh, Uzerian. Um, in a, uh, a captain's civilian captain, but a captain's uniform, um, who uh, who's a bit gruff but but um, polite enough. Uh, Welcome aboard the Harmony, he says. Uh, here's the manifest, he says, holding out a uh, an iPad. Well, not an iPad, but a, a you know a tablet. Datapad? Hey, datapad. A datapad, yeah. Um, it lists um, the the page on the data pad. Who, who's looking at Who's looking at that? By the way, folk can look at it. Uh, it lists the Harmony, um, the name of the ship, the Harmony, um, a crew, uh, the crew complement of um, pardon me, uh, crew complement of twelve, um, uh, and um, uh, a cargo of ground cars is apparently what the cargo is. Local relay that to the guys gonna 
search the um while well, whole stage so just ground cars this uh fine day <laughs> day night yeah whatever yeah just ground cars all right if you if the if the inspection party would like to uh accompany yep. my my first mate uh, the first mate's a human um she'll take you down to the uh the cargo deck sounds good Mm -hmm. on. All right, so um, uh, the first mate leads do, you into. Do we need to examine the uh, captain's logs, uh, kind of like mm. uh, truck of log books, to make sure they're. Yeah, well, they that's why. That's I mean, why it's like ledger. Yeah, that's why you're off to the. Li uh, that's why you're off to the bridge. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, the captain. Uh, so the first. The the first mate. Um, and the uh, inspection crew uh, go to the uh, top airlock uh, and then down to the cargo deck, whereas um, um, Voke and Babu. Babu, thank you. God, I'm terrible today. Uh, head to the center, uh, we head to the captain to the center, the center um, uh, lift airlock and up to the bridge. Uh, and Cat hangs by the um hangs by the airlock yes yep yes yeah okay um every now and then a crew member uh walks through the crew deck pardon me they're um they give you they nod or you know acknowledge your your presence cat but don't don't engage at all okay um up on the uh up on the bridge the captain leads you to one of the uh one of the stations uh, up there and uh, um, pulls up the log for you. Um, um, there's nothing unusual in the log that you can see. Um, having a read through it. I'll ask uh, him if <laughs> there's seen anything suspicious lately or uh, anything unusual on your trip here? No. No, it's been a pretty routine trip, really. Glad good to, to get that. some uh, good to get some fresh air, of course. Looking forward to uh, to docking. So, so yeah. So, uh, by the way, just let me give you this information. Uh, in addition to your laser pistols, uh, you may carry one ranged weapon of your choice, as well as a melee weapon of your choice. Um, paid for by the Marines. Um, can be a rifle. Does that mean uh, they'll buy me a brand new rifle with all the attachments I want? If you, well, I don't matter all the attachments you want. Depends what attachments you want. Underwater, space, and like a special no, scope. No, you'll get the space, but you won't space get space and a special scope. Okay, I'll have no, a space. No, you won't get the special. You won't get the special scope. That's fine. I have visors. Uh, what about the uh, comp site gyroscope? Uh, you have to you'll have to fit that yourself. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I mean you can get it fitted, it's, but they it's won't pay for it. It's pretty cheap. Yeah. yeah, it's not seriously. Um, so uh, so uh, you get three clips of em three clips of em ammunition, or two belt packs for each for each of the carried weapons that need them. Um, and two of you um can also carry two grenades of any type of your of your choice. Well, I'm going to carry. Babu's got uh, the frags. <laughs> Babu's got the frags. Generally, not a good idea to have frag grenades on a spa on a spaceship, dude. Well, they better not make me use them. And uh -huh. Cerise will carry a tangler and a doze. Okay, uh, and incidentally, there's also two rocket packs available if anyone wants to use them. What skill is it to use those? Uh, got, it's uh, no, it's tech. It's um, it's a tech skill. Oh it's hell level, yeah! It, it's level six tech skill. Oh, it requires level that, six. Never mind. Yeah. Well, it's a rocket skill. It's it's rocket it's rocket powered flight, so it counts as the level. You need level six tech skill for that. Oh, actually, Cerise is the only one. Yeah, Cerise will yeah. take it. I thought it, I thought she might. 
Um, not that you'll need it because you're under one G. But there you go. Um, so yeah, so that's what's uh, so that's what's happening there. Um, in the uh, in the cargo hold, there's a whole bunch of um, uh, crates. Now um, the the um, unless you sp un unless you e uh, direct otherwise, the the first mate will accompany you into the hold. Um, as I said, there's a whole bunch of crates. Um, each of them, each of them, quite large, uh, about large enough to hold a ground car. Funny enough, as would be expected. As would be expected. So, what do you guys want to do in the in the cargo hold? Anything in particular? Uh, Cerise would like to open all the crates and just inspect the ground cars, see if they look. Well, there's about two dozen of them. I'm trying to make the person start. Yeah, is okay. it? Yeah. Yeah, because they're still decelerating, so it, we can take some time here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, Ceres will want to look at the cars and just make sure they're perfectly legal cars. Well, what are you doing? I mean, they look like legal cars to you. Yeah, open there. it up, look at it, check the trunk, check the hood, make sure check you the know. Tires. Kick the tires. There's no uh, drugs being smuggled in the car. Not Don't rip apart the seats, but you know. Do a thorough check, in other words. All right, give me a search yeah. roll then, guys, if, those, that, that, if you guys are all doing that down there. Down there. In the tower, I take it. Uh, yeah, yes, please. Hopefully it'll work. It did. Yeah, I've got to find where Cerise has her. Actually, give me three rolls, guys, because, you know, you're doing quite a few cards at the time. Yeah. It's half logic, half intuition, right? I believe so. Okay. And someone better, someone better do do jazz. You want to grab jazz, chat, considering you're hanging, you're doing nothing but hanging around an airlock. Uh, I would prefer not to. Uh, That's okay. That's okay. You prefer not to. You prefer not to. I was just making sure you weren't getting bored doing nothing. That's all. That's fine. Cool. The first roll was going to be as both, but I meant to do it as three, yeah, yeah, but yeah, if it's yeah, still yeah, later. Right. That's all right. There you go. So, um, no, you don't find anything unusual at all. Um, it's, all pr it's all pretty much above board as far as you can see. Takes you a while to do it all. Um, also takes you a while to go through the login detail up on the bridge. But everything seems to be in order. Cerise will ask the... Check out then. Yeah. Sorry, what was, it? what was that, Paul? I said everything seems to check out well then. Mm -hmm. Cerise will ask the first mate how long they've been hauling these ground cars and where from. From Grand, Grand, Grand Quiver. Pangalar, basically. Yeah, Grand Quiver is like that. Um, that was on the manifest, remember? The, yeah. The folk didn't... You're doing... Yeah, okay. <laughs> didn't share, but... Apparently. Are Not that I definitely didn't forget. Or used? Oh, they're brand new. Well, they've got that new car smell. Well, they would have if you could smell because it's a vacuum. But you know, you know what I mean? During training, was there anything else we were told to be aware of when doing these inspections? No, just find it, find anything, yeah. Find just anything wrong, I mean. Search the crates and just, okay. Oh, we'll see if there's anything being smuggled in. Basically. So yes. So um, after an hour or so of searching and reading and things like that, um, you're pretty much done. What do you guys want to do? Well, um, I don't think. I think. We searched the cargo hold, nothing unusual there. We went through the logs, nothing unusual. 
I wouldn't search any, I wouldn't search, you know, their crew quarters, because that's probably not standard procedure, and that's probably not nice. Actually, it is standard procedure. It is to search their crew quarters? Okay. <laughs> then... Well, you're supposed to search the entire ship for anything, for anything being smuggled. Yep, starting with the lockers. Okay, yeah, then they'll Let's start looking. The rooms. Yeah. So if you guys can give me all search checks, that would be fantastic, because... You know. One more, or three? No, well, one each. Uh, you wanted that in the tower? Doesn't matter. You filed it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, you, you can also do that too if you want, Cat, because you know you you got to be you have to be standing right by the airlock. Um, just don't leave that room, basically. So yeah, no, you, I mean no, there's nothing unusual you can find. I mean you know, um, one of the one of the Azerian crew members has got a pretty good collection of play of play monkeys, but uh, <laughs> apart uh, from that, and check the uh, the shuttle too. Yep. Okay. Again, you don't find anything of interest. All right. Well, then everything looks to be on the up and up. I think we give the all clear. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, uh, you someone needs to sign off on the on the uh, captain's manifest. You're me, Babu. I'm fine signing. Uh, I'll sign off on it, but I would like to just ask the captain if everything is. Uh, yeah, everything that he's stated in the logs and on the manifest is true and correct, true and accurate to, to the best of his knowledge. And I'd yeah. like to use a empathy role to see if I believe him. Oh, okay. And wouldn't I will it, detect it, lies too. I say, wouldn't a detect lies be better than an empathy role? Well, one's a five percent chance, and the other one's a thing that he might that he's actually good at. Yeah, but I, that's what I'm saying. I don't think empathy. I don't think empathy is the right skill to use. Is what I'm getting at. Can't we just volunteer Jazz for this duty? What chicken lies? Signing off on it. <laughs> no, because he's not here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put put that on him because he's not here. Draft. That would be unfair. I've got to be fair. Well, I've got to be seen to be fair anyway. Well, so, so, yeah, um, so you know, lies. I don't think I actually have that as a skill. It's not. It's a. It's a special ability. Want me to run? Want me to do it for Babu? No, that's right. Babu can do it. Just roll me a sentinel dice and take five five percent off it, unless no. you've put any points into it. I don't think you've put any points into detect lie, have you? Babs? No. Didn't know I could. Actually. Oh yeah. Uh, in the same way that Jazz could put extra points into his uh, Go Berserk stuff. Yeah. Ah, okay. It's just percentage die then? Yeah, and Rust and Therese can do it for a comprehension as well, if she wants. Yeah. She has. At minus five, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, as far as you're both concerned, the captain's telling the truth. There's nothing illegal going on at all. All right. Sign the papers then. Mm -hmm. Put your put, put your thumbprint to it. Of course, so to speak, yeah. Yeah. Well, you you whatever. Um, and, and what do you do after all that? Well, Voke is content with the logs and with the papers, and I think we go back down. And I think okay. Cerise is content with the searching. Is uh, Doc content with the searches? Yes. And Cat too, since you were part of it. If everyone can't think of anything else to do, then I think we uh, say have a good day. Thanks for your patience and um, happy trading. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time around, probably. Uh, and I take it you guys head back to the Osprey? Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, Lieutenant, 
<laughs> Lieutenant Ka Lieutenant Katie uh, meets you at the Osprey airlock, and how did it go? Good, Same clear. Good, sir. Nothing unusual to report. Everything Perhaps. appears copacetic and SOP. All right then. Well, let's get back to the patrol. He says. So, uh, yes, uh, they, you disengage from the from the harmony and uh, head head back out on your on your patrol. Um, nothing much happens for the uh, the rest of the uh, rest of that patrol in terms of um, bits and pieces. Um, uh, and so you've got the next couple of days off. Um, the uh, the osprey, I mean, it's a, it's only an, an, assault, an assault scout. It's uh, it's not very big, so you've got a basically hot bunk while you're um, while you're out there on patrol. Does everybody know what I mean by hot bunk? What the term hot bunk means? Yeah, you don't have your own room. You basically yeah. all rotate the beds. You don't have your own bed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I believe yeah. the U.S. military calls it hot rack, but hot bunk. Hot, hot rack. Hot bunk. I've heard it both ways. Um, hot bunk, hot rack. So yes. Anyway, um, yes. Do you, anyone want to do anything during their downtime? Their two days off. Um, I'll take nope. that. Take, take as a no. I Enjoy the. I'll begin Sorry, to start studying some engineering. <laughs> you will, will you? You mean you want me to take time out of my very busy day that I could otherwise spend doing steam baths to teach you engineering? No, he didn't say that at all. Don't be so mean. The steam bath definitely sound like that's a place to be. Yeah, I oh, thought yeah. that's where you go. Babu and I yeah. are uh, off to the steam baths. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, all right. Well... During your uh, during your next during your next um, patrol, again, um, looks like um, it, 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 you're, it's it's pretty well standard procedure. You're going to do at least one, uh, possibly two, um, inspections per per patrol. Um, is is what you have been informed is the general tempo of ships coming in. Uh, obviously, you don't do outgoing ships uh, as such. Um, so, yes. So, um, uh, this next one, uh, this next ship's uh, called the Old Timer. Uh, when you get within visual visual sight of it, you can see why it's called the Old Timer. It's looking pretty old. <laughs> Not beat up, just old. Um, Is this a large or a small freighter? This is a large one, this one. Okay. Um, and you actually, you actually about three hours out by when you meet up with it. Um, it's, a more expensive, it's a more expensive ship. So, uh, again, um, you dock uh, at the, uh, uh, you uh, uh, match it, match. Match vectors uh, and uh, run out the airlock, and uh, I'm assuming it's the same, the same people doing the same jobs this time. Yep, unless anyone wants to do it differently. Yeah, that's fine. Works for me. The only person, the only know. swap I can think of is Cat to go in my place. But I'm Babu and I have the lie detection. You have the computer skills, so. It wouldn't be normal to to hack into their computers. Well, no, to notice any no. irregularities in the files, but yeah, that's why I think that normally Babu and I would probably be best. Yeah. Sure. Um, so again, um, the captain meets you uh, at the um, at the airlock and hands over the uh, the manifest. Um, yeah, um, eight crew, um, out of inner reach, Jermaine, the Jermaine system, 
uh, and apparently he's carrying refinery equipment. Does it specify what kind of refinery equipment or just refinery? Uh, oil, refin oil refinery equipment, actually. Oil refinery equipment, okay. I'll relay that to the search team and uh, ask the captain if there's someone who can take them to the cargo hold. Yeah, yeah, he's he's got one of his crew he's got one of his crew members ready, crew members ready. Um, again, um, uh, then heads heads up head leads you guys up to the bridge. Uh, Cat, the the crew decks are a different layout. What do you want to do in this case? Do you want to hang by the airlock, or do you want to search this deck as well? Was the was the standard sort of operating procedure to at least stick near the airlock. It was. So, it so they don't board our ship. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's part of the reason. So you probably yeah. need to. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll hang around until the cargo hold crew get back. Okay. Cool. Um, again, um, when you get up to the bridge, um, the log appears okay. Um, and if you guys uh head down to the um, the cargo deck, um, again the crewman. Um, uh, is in a space suit and comes in uh, with you. Um, do you want to? Do you want to? Um, what do you want to do when you're down there? Let's see. Oil refinery equipment. There's a lot of crates this time, right? It's quite a few crates this time. Yes. Um, I think we need to do a, just a random check. Yeah, do a random check, and if there's any crates that look intentionally hidden or shoved off to... Not really. Yeah, not like, you know, you're filling the space, but if there's a crate that... Yeah, I, I know what you're after, and, and yeah. the answer is not really. No, okay, then we'll do a random check of... All right. Well, give me a search roll of each of the three people down there, please. And one for Babu, uh, one for Jazz. Someone's going to have to take Jazz. Meanwhile, up on the bridge, uh, what are you guys doing? What are you doing up there, Babs? Not going Baker. over the logs. Yep. And see if there's any discrepancies. No, it looks pretty standard. Um, yeah, um, uh, doesn't seem to be much at all. Um, so yes. Local asked the captain if there's been anything unusual, any string sightings, any. No, no, nothing unusual. I'm assuming you're going to do a, a detect lie roll for that, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get to it since I'm running half the characters now. Oh, poor Didums. Well, hey, it means that I get to. I have half the voting power in the group now. That good that to be the it. No. Yeah, you might you might have half the votes, but I got the veto. True. Yeah, definitely will. Um, uh, no, the, the, as far as you you are aware, the captain's telling the truth. Um, and uh, the refining equipment looks like refining equipment. Um, there's nothing unusual but about they don't it. Don't have all. rifling in them, do they? No, they don't. Yeah. Nice idea. Knock on it, make sure the metal's hollow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. It appears to be exactly what it says to be, appears to be. Okay. So yeah, are we yeah. given any additional tools like for inspection, like maybe like a heat detector or anything like that? Oh. Nope. Oh, um 
I have a uh, I have a mechanical and electric has that tells you the composition of things. Mm hmm. I'll give that to Cerise, and Cerise can use that to quicken the scanning process and to okay. scan everything and make sure. Sure, not a worry. Um, yeah, so, uh, hmm. Internal working parts, cracks, or breaks, and give, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pardon me. Uh. So, uh, checking out the uh, checking out the rest of the ship. If everyone can give me a search roll for that, would be great. And again, you don't find anything of interest. Or anything illegal, anyway. So, what would you like to do? The markers as well? Yeah. So, what do you guys want to do now? Um, Babu and Voke will do the best of your knowledge that it's true. Do the detect lie one more time on that. Sure. Roll them. And we've searched the crew. We've searched both bridge decks. We'll search both bridge decks. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, we searched the crew and the maintenance deck, correct? Y yep. Okay. And everything's. Standard. Any of the crews seem shifty, shady, nervous? Uh, not really, no. No? Okay, then. I, anyone have any objections to being done? I'm thinking maybe just for a final check, why don't we grab one of the dirtier personal lockers, foot lockers, and take that back to the ship and open it up where we can actually use our senses outside a suit. Wait, you want to Sorry? take one of their personal storage units, take it back to our ship, and then open it? That's right. Yeah, no, that ain't going to happen. There's no reason for it to happen. Yeah, that, that that's a seizure then, and we don't have the no, I'm a not saying cause. Keep it. I'm not saying keep it. Bring it back, open it up, inspect it where we can smell it and touch it we're not, we're oh, you, not well not well, it, okay that's not a you, seizure okay for starters one you can do that here without having to take it back to the ship in the first to your ship in the first place two that's not operating procedure and three you can crack your you can crack your, your space suits once you're out of the hole if you want to do if you want to do a smell test I know what you're getting at. I know you're getting at, Paul, but it's just, it's just not done. It's just not the way things are done. Have you ever done any inspections? Yeah, actually, I have, actually, yes. I was yeah, trained I there. have, too. Yeah, you open yeah. the stuff up and you smell, you smell it. Yeah, I know what you're doing, but you don't do that back at your ship you do, you, or whatever. Depends. Well, it's not done here, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. We do, the sa we do the same procedure. We just don't take it back to our ship. Yeah, and as I said, you, yeah. you don't have. I mean, you, there's no reason to have this, have this spacesuit sealed when you're in the when you're in the oxygenated oxygenated parts of the ship, and there's only three of you anyway in spacesuits anyway, um, or vacuum suits anyway. So yeah, the vacuum suits not in spacesuits. I mean, it's a fine line, but it's not very you know worth the worth the distinction. Um, yeah, apart from smelly socks. And smelly jock straps. Um, it smells like smelly socks and smelly jock straps. So, anyone have any objections or anything else they want to do? Nope. Okay, then. Happy Sign trading. Off. Sign off and. Sure. Um. 
about a week about a week or so later you're pulling up besides the Delilah which is also a large freighter um, apparently the Delilah's out of kitty kit um, um, you're not you're not met by the captain this time you're met by the first officer um, who hands over the um, cargo manifest. Bo takes it and looks at it. Uh, apparently it's computer components. All right. Um, just computer components today. That's it. All right. Do you have someone to take the special? Yeah, yeah. All right. And the uh, so the uh, crewman uh, leads you three guys down to the cargo hold and leads the rest of the two of you up to the bridge. When you get to the bridge, the captain's up there. Um, he uh, he uh, has the log ready for you. Okay, we'll uh, start looking through it, and the cargo team will start looking through the cargo. Yeah, it's only two. It's only two large crates down in the cargo hold. Um, the cargo hold is pretty, pretty rather empty with only the two crates in it. Um, but yeah, um, you crack them open and it looks like it's full of computer parts. Hmm. Okay. Um, uh, hard so drives. Oh, does have yeah. computers too and robotics too. So she's looking for any illegal bits and pieces. Yeah, bits and pieces. <laughs> anything that you know. Now, well, give me a search roll then, guys, if that's what you're doing. And give me your detect lie rolls, guys, if you're doing the detect lie stuff upstairs. And cat, you're bored. <laughs> yeah, look. Um, you don't detect any lies. They're telling the truth. So, uh, yes. And you don't find anything, pardon me. You don't find anything in the, um, anything apart from computer components in the computer components. Well, that's good so far. Mm hmm. Then once they're done searching the computer, they'll go up and search the rooms. Okay. Give me the search, give me the search rolls, guys, please. Uh, you don't find anything on the ship. Anything illegal on the ship, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you want to do, guys? Uh, yeah, did any of the crew seem shady or shifty or nervous? Nope. Nope. Pete after me, is it? Is yeah, 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 yeah. One more to touch line. Yes, please. And again, you don't locate any lies. Okay, I assume nobody has any objections or anything else they want to do. Nope. Okay, then if Babu will sign off on it, we will be on our way. Did you guys do a scan around the perimeter of the cargo hold? Good idea. The I mean, is there like a... Uh, I mean, you got two containers in the cargo hold yeah but if the, the containers are high value the inside as the outside type of thing pretty much oh i see what you're saying yeah they haven't done that no all right yeah sign off i guess okay um 
so yeah, um, it's falling into a, a pretty pretty much a routine, uh, which if you've ever been in the military, you know that's what it's like. Apart from when the fecal matter hits the revolving atmospheric distributor. Um, so again, uh, your next trip out, um, you're, uh, you're you're docking with the early bird two, which is out of Minotaur, which is how it's pronounced in this in uh, in that particular system, although um, people sometimes call it Minotaur. Um, again, you're met by uh, you're met by um, one of the crewmen uh, in a skin suit, in a skin suit, in a space suit. And a second crewman, not in a spacesuit, uh, the crewman in the spacesuit hands over um, the manifest to you. Vulcan spec suit. Apparently, it's uh, power batteries. Okay. Are these power uh, are they charged? Uh, yeah, they would be. Okay. You'd always, you'd always hit your finger and touch the terminal and find out. Hmm. No? Just the para batteries. Just the para batteries. It's a small freighter, this one, by the way. Okay. All right. Uh, if just uh, a... your friend here could show my show our inspection team to the cargo hold, we'll uh, take care of that. And my Certainly. friend and I will would like to inspect your logs. Not a problem. So uh, you're led up to the bridge and down to the cargo hold, respectively. Cargo hold first. Mm -hmm. Looking, yeah, cargo hold first. Yep. Babu. Babu. Yeah. Can I have you in the private room, please? User left your channel. User left your channel. He noticed something irregular in the logs. Maybe. User joined your channel. Um, so the cargo User hold, joined your channel. cargo holds uh, pretty well, pretty heavily packed. Um, most of the crates are labelled um, either power battery one, two, power batteries type one, two, three, or four. Not all of them. Um, about maybe one in seven isn't labelled as such. Um, but there's a good two, maybe three dozen crates um, or. In the in this one, of the, it's one of the biggest cargoes. It's one of the fullest cargo holds you've seen. It's even more than the than the ground cars uh, were um, last time. So um, you, you you crack a couple at random uh, and don't locate any of the unusual. Um, anything else you want to do down the cargo hold? Para batteries. Is there anything special to look for with para batteries? Yeah, you need to put your tongue on the terminal. I don't no? think there's okay. anything special to look for them for, to look for. No, there's not. No, there's not. I mean, it's either charged or it's not. It's yeah, pretty much. And they're all they all look pretty well charged. Um. So yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Jazz and Cerise are content with their random searches. 
Okay. Did you uh, want the us log to roll the... or just? Or no? I thought you had. Oh. Oh no, you haven't yet. No, please roll. I thought you had. Sorry, please roll. Meanwhile, up on the bridge, um, the log log book seems pretty well um, standard. Nothing much of interest. I'm going to hold Boke aside and just mention the fact that there's some crewmen over there that seems to be perspiring a little too much and might even be slightly jaundiced. I uh, don't know if anybody else has seen any other crewmen looking like this. Well, Vogue certainly hasn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, now that now that this this guy's been pointed out to you, Vogue, it does he does seem to be as um, a little bit sweaty. He could be running a fever because of the jo yeah, if he's if he's got hepatitis or something like that, he could be running a fever. Um, but yeah, it, it, or they could it, also it, be carrying something that could be yeah. contaminated. Yeah. Well, he's, he's, or, he's, yeah. he's he, it's the only he's the only one. Everyone else everyone else seems perfectly perfectly calm and and fine. And we've met the captain and the first mate. They have shown themselves. Oh, you have now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're up on the bridge. Um, and this guy's on the bridge too? This guy's one. Yeah, this guy's one of the bridge bridge, bridge crew as well, yeah. Well, I think once we need to confront him. Do you agree, Babu? Oh. Uh, just seem to find out why he might be ill, if he's ill, or in doing that, if he has a reason... Yeah. So yeah, there's something illegal going on here. Yeah. So I think we'll try to like ask. Feeling it, feeling it, yeah, feeling ill today. He he's a bit startled that you, you when you talk to him, you know, um, like he was, and he's he's he yeah uh, yeah 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 he's a little bit under the weather. Just I think I need to get some fresh. I think I need to get some, get off the ship and get some fresh air. Um, yeah. What do you do around that. here? Just What's your job crewman? on the ship? No, he's just, he's just a crewman. Okay. And... Okay, I'll check his name to make... to get his name. Yep. It's John... John Johnson. John Johnson. <laughs> well, we'll have our, uh... We have a doctor who will... Have come have a quick look at you once he's done in the cargo hold. Oh no, that that won't be necessary. That that that. that oh no, we no. insist. I'm, I'm okay. If you're carrying something that could possibly yeah, infect, we need to know. User we need to know. And the captain speaks up at this point and says, "Yeah, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad e idea, Jono." So, um, so yeah. Anyway, so when you. Uh, when the, when you come up from the cargo hold, what are you gonna what are you gonna say to the doc? Assuming it's doc, you're gonna say it to. Well, we'll uh, on the chronicom, we'll alert doc that there's a possibly a sick boy here. Yeah. Yeah, just want to verify he's not carrying something that could be a problem to us, the crew, and wherever they're gonna dock. And then quietly, also on the chronicom, tell them that. Well, on this, name there's no whoa, 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 whoa. There's no such thing as quietly on the chrono on the chronicom, because right? it's going to be it's going to be a, um, if there's anybody nearby, they're going to hear it. Okay, then uh, when Doc comes up to the bridge, Voke will go down. Okay. To where? Voke is going to search his crew quarters because when the rest of the okay. crew, when they everyone else comes up to the car, from the cargo hold, we they we search the crew quarters. And so yeah. Okay. And vocal the doc's going to... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, give me some search rolls for the crew quarters and that. Doc, do you want to give me a diagnosis roll? Okay. For this guy. Oh, and Vulcan Babu should do detect lies on that guy. Yeah, mate. It's on the. It's in the on the system. It's the freighter map. Got it? You're on the small freighter at the moment, which is the blue one. Um, okay. Doc, could you come over to the private room, please? User left your channel. User left your channel. 
Anybody want to give me a rundown real quick? All right, we've been doing routine uh, inspections of cargo and manifests and logs. So far, it's been pretty boring. We got on this ship, though, and there's one crewman that seemed to be sweating a little too much and looked a little jaundiced. So we're having Doc check him out. Like I said, so far, it's been truly routine and fairly boring. All right. And you have Thanks. two grenades. What's that? Cool. Uh, no, I was just trying to get up to speed. Um, Voke was also giving me some more info. Ah, okay. Was there any um, advice? Is there problems using projectile or gyrojet weapons on board a ship? I assume there is. Probably. He doesn't like me using frag grenades either. So. Oh, but incendiary would be fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he said you're allowed to have two grenades, your choice. Um, your sidearm, uh, they prefer lasers, but your sidearm, one melee weapon, and a ranged weapon of your choice. Uh, we were issued a skein suit, a uh, skin suit, and the and the weapon, and two uh, magazines or two clips of energy cells, whatever, and. I think we're all midshipmen. What was the cargo of this freighter? Was it pair of batteries, or was that the last one? Or is no, the last one was the computer parts. Last one was computer parts, so this is pair of batteries. Right? I believe so. Okay, or maybe Matt hasn't told us yet. Or did he? Did they? Well, this one is extremely full in the cargo hold. User yeah, your channel. yeah. This Did, is you, your channel. Okay, so you guys done your search roles for the, for the for the, crew yet? I don't think you have, have you? No. No. Can you can you guys can you five guys give me search roles for the, for the for the for the the, the non cargo area? And everybody else? Yeah. Sorry. One second. I'm. My hot bar is not working properly. Cat, cat did hers already. It's yeah, I've got, uh, uh, oh, there it is. Got yours, cat. Thank you. Um, right. So just before you have that conversation, um, Doc, I just need to pull cat aside for a second. Private room, please, cat. User left your channel. User left your channel.
tell you and series I'm also giving you my um, duo cast that has the uh, mechanical and electrical scanning on it so you can scan what's inside to make sure it is what it is you can okay scan cool cargo. what weapons is everybody carrying because we should have a selection right yeah I'm I'll probably use a sonic stunner and as my side side on well maybe yeah and a automatic rifle Yeah, the doc doesn't do weapons, but I guess uh, if he's required for a sidearm, he'll have a sonic stunner. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Um, so you're all back on the main crew deck. Nobody's found anything. Um, I believe um, Doc wants to say well, wants to say something to you to you guys. Yeah. Okay. So I I've given this guy a cursory medical check and there's nothing in his record that indicates he has uh this sweaty condition he claims he does he's also a little jaundiced but uh you know it's not illegal to be sweaty and jaundiced so i thought i'd ask the party what, what you guys think i mean if if we're looking for suspicious behavior he's he's indicating that there's <laughs> reasons to be suspicious but um he's done nothing wrong so i thought rather than take action i thought perhaps we could discuss it where are we having uh, this conversation uh off to one side of the crew deck there, there are no there are uh, there are uh, crew members around but they're not within the earshot if you keep your voices low uh no uh not blue plague cerise um it doesn't have any of the symptoms of blue plague well he's obviously lying to us uh, so well who's obviously lying to you the guy who we just diagnosed. If Doc is confident in his assessment, man, he probably is. Yeah, well, that's not definitely. That's possibly on your part. <laughs> that's your belief. It's not guaranteed. You draw anyway. a sense of detect lie, right? Yeah, we've been doing that constantly, but it's only 5% for each of us. So, I mean, the, the, he's, he's, quote, guilty, unquote, of being suspicious, but that's not a reason to haul him in or do anything other than wave him through. Cat will hand the doc the vial that she found and say, okay. uh, give this a bit of an analysis and see if you think this might be linked to his condition. Um, it's a small vial. It's, a, it's about um, a centimetre in diameter and about uh, four centimetres long. I think um, I'm going to take this back to the ship, right? Um, I don't know. If you've, if you've got a biocads with you, you could probably, or a, if you've got a chemicads with you, you could probably do something right now. Uh, preliminary anyway. Um, All right. Well, I don't have one on my character sheet, but. No, but somebody else has got a Kenny Kaz, hasn't it? I think Cat has an Atmos Kaz. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, the, the, the answer to that question, Therese, it was asked earlier before you got there, was he's been on board about three years. Okay. And he did take shore leave on the last planet ball. Which is, again, pretty typical. Yes, it is. As can I said, he's done nothing wrong. Can we radio back to the computer, to the ship, and have them run his name? Um, what, the the, uh, the Osprey? Yeah. Yeah, the, you could. Um, your, um, the round trip time is going to take, it's going to take 10 to 12 minutes one way to go from the Osprey back to the central computers. Yeah. I'm not in a hurry. How about you guys? No, we're here all day. Yep. I mean, it takes right. a, I, I mean, what? Well, it takes a while. I mean, we're not holding them up. It's just us being there. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter yeah. much. Yeah. All right. Um, Kat, do you have a, a Kenny Kaz? Uh, I think we, I, I, I can't remember. I think we picked up one on the last mission, right? Well, you, someone was going to buy one. I don't know if they had. Did you put it on your sheet? There was a biocas in the last place. But we didn't take it with us. No, but I thought someone bought one. 
So did I. No, I, I as far as stuff that I've bought, I've just bought the Asmus Kaz. Okay, fair enough. That's cool. That's cool. Um, you could do doc. You could I'll, you could do a quick. I mean, if you want to do a quick diagnosis, analysis, diagnosis now, I'll let you do that. With just you know, I mean, you can pick up a lot just from the look at the look of it and things like that, and maybe the smell of it if you crack the crack the top of it. Oh, I'm not cracking the top of it. <laughs> fair enough. Well, based on what you believe um, and the rest of it, um, you're pretty sure that's it, uh, Excel. Uh, do you remember what Excel is? No, I don't. But that's I'll, an illegal I'll drug. Isn't it? What I found. Yeah, Elixol's the the latest wonder drug that's um, sweeping the frontier and has been for the last twelve months or so, um, and it certainly matches the symptoms that this guy's got. He's probably a user. All right. Well, is there a test to find out whether this guy's going to be positive or not? Well, the vial you tested the vial, but um, but you've certainly got enough suspicion to to seize the vial, and the guy's well, not going anywhere. Test. Well, you can't do that till you get back to the get back to the station. Is it? You don't, have the, you, don't, you don't have the facilities. Elixir, yes, it's highly illegal. It's an addictive chemical, and it, all addictive chemicals are illegal. Like addictive drugs, like yeah. caffeine. No. Okay, wow. Well. <laughs> I, I, I take I take your point. <laughs> so the standard procedure would be to take him on our ship or stay on their ship into the station um no take him uh, well it's if the doc's willing to make a a formal uh, a formal um uh, finding of probable cause which you've got based the, on your analysis and this was found uh, in his bunk in his locker cat uh, i don't know the answer to that question but i could yeah i told you i told you where you found it did you say it was his bunk? I, I said it was a bunk. I didn't say it was his bunk. Yeah, then I don't have the answer to that question. I can point somebody to the bunk and ask that question, but yeah. Yeah, ask one of the nearby crew or ask the captain. Yeah, it's a really bad echo. Dad, you're hot miking. There we go. Um, yeah, it is, it is his bunk. It was his bunk, or it is his bunk. Um, so yes, you could uh, you could formally arrest him, bring him on board the Osprey, um, along with the evidence, um, and um, and uh, take him back to the uh, uh, the station and hand him over to the station security. Yep. Which is part of the Marines anyway. Yeah. So I'd like to take a consensus what everyone thinks. Yeah, that's what we should do. I'm all for it. Yeah, I'm. I was thinking about bringing it to the yeah. attention of the captain and then testing everyone. Well, I mean, there's only one uh, person with obvious signs of withdrawal or whatever. Yeah, there's only one person with the symptoms, and there was only one vial found in his bunk. On an extended trip on a freighter, I don't know if that's the proper conclusion to take, but that's why I was asking for a consensus. Wait, so you think that, like, the whole crew or parts of the crew might be using it? Well, I'm saying that uh, there's no reason not to test them. I uh, am um, invasion of privacy. Yeah, we're, we're all smuggling. I'm not, I'm not no, you, you can't time, claim that. Not done again. Sorry, what was that, Doc? I missed it. I said I'm not going to get into what's done and what's not done again. If it's not done, then it's not done. So let's let's arrest him and then perform an extended search of his quarters and his work area. Sure, you can do that. Yeah. Is it possible to trace this drug in like someone's blood or if it? Is that's, in, 
That's information. Well, I mean, the usage. I mean, usage is uh, usage is the symptoms he's showing, not necessarily the sweating, but certainly the slightly jaundiced. Um, starts in the eyes and then spreads to the skin is what is what the medical um, is, uh, literature, literature is saying. But says. like toxicology we'll, we'll report, the toxicology, toxicology report will show it up. Okay. But I mean, he's he's the only one who's been he's the only one who's been. Um, is there anyone who's got any, got any symptoms at all out of, out of the crew? Well, we can uh, ask the captain who he hangs around with. Sure. Who, who uh, are his his buds, and we'll get a toxicology report from them. Well, again, getting a toxicology report is invasion of privacy without probable cause. Oh, you yeah, don't have probable true. cause. Yeah, so then... You don't have probable cause, except on him. Yeah, he's the only one we have probable cause on yet. Then we arrest yeah. him, and that's and I that. don't know whether you, I don't know whether you get away with a smuggling charge because it's a single vial, and it was in a personal, personal question. Um, yeah, that you could certainly do, sir. You can certainly, yeah, no, you don't have a brig. You, you, you lock him in, lock him in one of the lockers, but that's okay. Um, one, lock him in one of the rooms. That's okay. On your, uh, you can certainly ask, you can certainly ask them if they would submit to a toxicology report. Again, you wouldn't do that yourselves. You have to, that would be done. You don't, have, you don't have the facilities to do that here. You have to do that back on the station. I don't. I don't think it's worth the time, worth the paperwork. Again, you can ask. Some some may say yes. Some say may, may say no. Um, when you uh, have you told the cap? Have you not your captain? Have you told their captain yet? Or is he still talking? Still talking amongst yourselves at the moment. You have. He's shocked and appalled. And it's genuine as far as you can tell. I would also think that a entire ship of drug addicts is probably not going to last too long. <laughs> yeah, something, they would screw up something. <laughs> yeah, that's good and, that, and that's probably why the captain's appalled because... You know, starships are dang starships are dangerous places. You don't want a druggie on board. In fact, you don't really want an alcoholic on board either. Technically, you know what I mean. Well, that that's the reason for testing everyone, you see. But um, if we well, you can test them, you can test them, right? You can certainly ask them. To, you can certainly you can certainly ask them to submit to a uh, to a um, uh, to a voluntary medical exam or something like that, um, which you could perform, Doc, here, but if they, if an individual or more were to refuse, there's nothing you can do about it, apart from note it in the report. Well, and the, if the captain is appalled, he might apply some peer pressure. He might, um, as well. So, I mean, do you want to do you want to ask the captain that or not? Amongst us, yeah, I would suggest that. Hey, let's let's get the captain on our side and apply some pressure and do some. See who will submit to an a more thorough exam. It's certainly a sticky situation. It is. So what are you doing? Are you, are you asking the captain now? Are you going to go try and get people to do um, to do uh, exams? Is it allowed? You can voluntarily ask them. If they refuse, there's nothing you can do about it. So yeah, I, yeah. I would say, Captain. You know, we can we can uh, perform voluntary uh, exams to see if anybody else shows signs of addiction. Mm, yes, I, I I I will recommend that. I, you know, I strongly recommend that. He's pissed off. Um, he's angry. Um, so. Um, so yeah, so um, do you want to? You'll set aside one of the cabins for this. Do you want to give me a um? The crew. There's only seven in the crew, uh, six in the crew, including well, six in the crew, uh, of which one's the captain, one's your drug fiend, and there's four others. So the captain volunteers and goes first uh, to set an example. So do you want to give me a diagnosis roll, please, Doc? Yeah, uh, there's no signs at all of, of uh, drug use on the captain. Um, three of the others uh, uh, volunteer 
um, quite quite readily. The fourth one's a bit reluctant, but succumbs to the peer pressure from the captain and the rest of the crew. So you've got another you've got another another four rolls to make, mate. Look, as far as your as far as the, uh, the others are concerned, I mean, you know, um, one could probably do with a dose of antibiotics because of the case of the clap he's got. But apart from that, everyone's pretty clean of drug use. So arresting him does that does that uh, compromise the ability of the ship to continue its mission? No. No. I say clap him in irons then. <laughs> Throw him out the airlock. No, it's um, only five to ten years. Kill all of them. That's for smuggling. He's not technically. I don't know if you get a smuggling charge for stick. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm being no, he's, he's not smuggling, but he's a user. Yeah. Hey, he needs help. <laughs> what stepping out the airlock? No, no, no. We have to find out, like. How was he able to get the stuff on the ship and well, he bought it bought it aboard in his pocket? Well, yeah, the the security officials will question him, ask him where he got it, how long he's been using, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera. So, um if there's nothing else and uh, stop can me. Can we do a, can we do a second search of his belongings and his work quarters? Sure. I thought you. I thought you. You didn't. You, did, you were going to do that. You didn't give me the roll. So you give me the roll for that now, shall I? His quarters first. Yep. So the first one was his quarters. The second one yep. was where he works. Mm-hmm. And I'm administering tests, so I'm not going to search. No, obviously. Uh, and thank you for that. Um, yeah, look, uh, there's nothing. You don't find any other, any, anything else um, drug-related? So uh, I want to ask the captain. He's been, he's been a crew member for three years. Has he shown any symptoms prior to this? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, mean it, I, suppose he, I suppose he started... Acting the way, yeah, you know, looking the way he did about four months ago. But how long were the medical checks done? Oh, maybe six months. We're only a, we're a commercial freighter. We're not the military. Of course not. But I mean, quarantine is quarantine, is it not? Oh yeah, but we don't travel anywhere where there's need to be quarantine. No one's ever called called it before. I suspect you might want to review that in your, uh, your your standard orders. I, I guess. Yeah, possibly. Well, if, it, if it's me, if I had a drug addict on my staff, I'd be. Yes, well, I didn't know, did I? Action. Yes, well, you can take him and go, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, yes, anyway. Is well, there anything else? It's going to have to be written up. I realize that. He says. Most unfortunate. Yes, very much so. You, uh, yes. Now, is there anything else, guys, that you want to do? Boke doesn't have anything. We've done, it's, uh, they have pair of batteries, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. All right, so you're heading back, you're heading back to the Osprey, are you? Yep. All right, well, we, the Osprey, uh, the Lieutenant Cab uh, gives you a, a well done. Um, uh, although he seems slightly annoyed, possibly because of the extra paperwork you just put him through. But that's life. Uh, uh, and you head back to the station, um, separate from, but parallel to, uh, the early bird too um uh and uh when you get back um you hand the uh, prisoner and the evidence over to the um local uh station security your fellow 
Marines, who was the shore patrol, uh, who take him away. Um, and uh, the uh, lieutenant in charge of the shore patrol says he's going to need statements off, written statements off your wall. So that takes up the next couple of hours while you write those, write down what you found and what was done and who said what and all the rest of it. But basically, well done. It's, it's, it's the short answer to it all. So well done. Yep, fire up. All right. Um, look, bathroom break, guys, for about five minutes. If that's all right, can we do that? Yep. All right, see you in five. Hey, when we dock to these ships, where's the dock? Where's the docking ring on our ship on the Osprey? Uh, our ship. Don't know. Okay. Question I've always had about these maps. I see, well, if you look at the clearing station small, you can see our ship layout. Um, actually, let me look. Data banks. Yeah, I was looking at it. Uh, it's got to be out of the storage deck somewhere. Maybe that. Maybe it's the butt end. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. And then the freighter, do we come in through the shuttle hatch? Yeah. Yeah, the little Millennium Falcon style area on the freighters. That's where we come in through, where there's the three doors. And then that shuttle's like their, uh, you know, their escape pod, their life pod. Their... Yeah. yeah. Was this a um, small or large freighter? The one we're currently on, that, that we were on, is a large the green's okay. the large one, the blue's the small. Yeah, I guess we would dock uh, on the storage deck, so we would be facing outward when we dock with the ship. So we back in reverse. And those three yeah. doors would be the airlock, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Well, no, yeah. the airlock's got to be top or bottom, probably top opposite the lift and it's probably just not showing that way we could maintain uh, 1g with the freighter well while we wait if anyone has anything they want to change in the procedure if anyone wants to do bridge or guarding the airlock or cargo hold instead. What was, the, so it was uh, one rifle with two, two extra clips Three and extra. a sidearm? Three extra clips and a sidearm with one extra clip. And two people get two grenades, 
Babu and Ceres, so you get to choose two grenades, and you have a jetpack. Um, all the weapons are fitted for vacuum combat as well. Yep. So you don't have to worry about your gyro jets not working in a vacuum. Yep. It's all a right. pain in the ass though, like reloading. That takes like two actions. Yeah, because you have to change the oxygen cylinder and the ammo. What's the um? What other we what weapons are everybody else carrying? I have a sonic stunner, a, a auto rifle, and a sonic sword. I'm carrying a bad temper. I've just got my usual auto pistol and needle a pistol and a sonic sword. Is Jazz going laser? Yeah. I don't know, what do you guys think? What, either my rifle or my sidearm will be gyro jet, but the other should be, I don't know, laser? Yeah, I, I think that's, uh, I just, yeah, I guess with the gyro jet you don't have a, there's only one weapon, isn't there, under gyro jets, apart from the heavy rocket launcher and stuff. Yeah, there's a rifle and there's a pistol. Yeah. I, I I didn't take a laser pistol because I'd be shit at it, but um, yeah, yeah. I guess a a laser something wouldn't hurt. Yeah, my only skill is gyro, but I've got a good deck, so. Sorry for being late, I had to go get wheels. Yeah, I told him. Oh, we go back? wheels. Uh, yep. Yeah. I think so. I think so, yeah. If, if, anyone's, not here, if, if anyone's not here, speak up now. <laughs> Perfect. I'm not, yep. Mm-hmm. Doc? I'm not here. All right, we're good to go. So nobody's here, except for, nobody's here except for Thomas. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So your next patrol out, um, uh, you're docking with the um. Well, actually, before before that happens, actually. Um, the day before you dock with the uh, the next ship, um, there's um, some reports. Um, you get a report um, of um, one of the um, one of the other uh, the wasp actually uh, reports coming across um, a gutted um, end um, uh, uh, freighter. Um, the airlock's been blown out. Um, and um, everybody uh, on board is either missing or dead, uh, and there's the cargo holds open as well. Was the cargo hold looted? Looks like it. Was it carrying? What was? Did they find out what it was carrying? Um, it was carrying computer, uh, computer, computer equipment. Hmm. Okay. So. Valuable, valuable enough to get hijacked, put it that way. Any uh, safer snail trails around? No. No, but there are, there are supposedly some, uh, a, a couple of pirate beams um, in the system. Remember? Star Lord. Hey? Star Lord. Star. <laughs> I think you mean Star Devil, don't you? 
Yes, that was kind of a joke and kind of not a joke. But yes, yes I realised. Um, so yeah, so apart from that, um, so yeah, that was apparently that's a bit of a, you know, I mean, a know, concern. Um, a concern. Uh, unfortunately, it happened on the other side of the system to where you guys are actually patrolling. So there's no, no, there's no, well, there's no way to get there within. Yeah. They uh, wouldn't have time to get here. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So the next day, um, you're um, uh, you're docking with a ship called the Flying Squirrel. Uh, it's a large freighter, as I said. I'm assuming you're going with your standard operating procedure? Yep. Yep. Folk inspects the manifest. Mm -hmm. uh, jet copters. Jet copters. Oh. Civilian? Yeah. Okay. Just yeah. making sure because, you know, armed jet copters is a red flag. Yeah, no, the civilian jet copters. Well, they, they, cl they claim to be civilian jet copters. I mean, you know, who knows what you're going to find. Yep. Well, um, I ask mm -hmm. for the escort to the cargo hold and the escort mm -hmm. to the bridge. And you get both. Um, everyone seems a-okay, um, except for the captain. The captain's got a real chip on his shoulder, um, muttering under his breath and, and muttering to the point where you can actually hear it, and it's deliberately, he's, he's deliberately making sure you can hear him, you know, bloody Marines interfering with proper bloody... No, free men, I don't know. He's he's got a chip on his shoulder about about inspections and things, all sorts of things. But the rest the rest of the crew just takes it in their takes it in their stride. Apparently, the the impression you're getting is uh, from the other crew from the crew is that um is that um he's got a chip on his shoulder and you know you put up with it because he's the captain type thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, the guys in the crew, the guys in the crew, guys in the cargo hold. Can you give me? There's there's quite a few. Um, there's about twice as many crates as there were when you were looking at the ground car cargo um, several weeks ago. It was several weeks ago now. Um, yeah. Um, so um, uh, about twice as many car uh, containers. Well, then we can search roughly half of them at random. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, yeah, they seem to have jet copters in them. And we'll scan the jet copters, make sure it looks like the internal parts are there and they're not, you know, illegal weapons hidden. No, it seems to be perfectly fine. Um, uh, if you continue doing your search roles for me, guys. You're not. Thomas isn't here. Is he? No, he's not. Uh, meanwhile, the log, apart from the, the uh, surly captain, the meanwhile, the log says, um, uh, looks looks a okay, from what you can see. All right. Um, you want to do your detect lie stuff? Yeah, we'll ask the captain about it. Ask mm -hmm. if there's been anything unusual. Hit. Yeah, no, no, everything, everything nothing. Um, yeah, no, look, as far as it, 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 it's all kosher, it's all above board. All the crews, good <laughs> No, the crew's bloody ugly, but there's no sign of drug use, if that's what you're asking me. Okay. And none of them are nervous except for putting up with the captain, you know? So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, none of them. Everyone, everything seems everything seems above board. As such. All right, and now the um, cargo hold team inspects crew quarters. Yep, go for your life. Yeah, you don't find anything of illegal interest. So everything seems everything seems clear and okay a okay yep and then we'll have the captain sign off on the paperwork and recite the mm -hmm. oath mm -hmm. there's the detect lie yep i said everything's a okay although the captain gives you a dirty look when he when you ask him to sign off on it you know so yeah heading back to your ship are you i'm, I'm assuming when you're finished 
Yep. Okay. Oh, and they didn't see anything unusual, right? No, nothing. Okay. Um, again, the rest of the um patrol goes smoothly. Um, although you know, there's a bit of chatter on the inter system co inter system com about um pirates, the pirates, the supposed alleged pirate attack yesterday. Okay. But these things happen occasionally, so they tell me. So they tell me. <laughs> uh, any, you, you guys want to do any your, your, your downtime right back on the station, back on Clarion Station when you get back there? Get a drink with the lieutenant. Uh, generally, no, he, 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 he's not very sociable. Unfortunate. The junior, the uh, 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 lieutenant, junior lieutenant, um, uh, uh, Rhonda Class will have a drink. Sure. Um, sure. Yeah. I mean, She's I'm not human. into humans, but you know. Well, cat could be. Well, it's a. I mean, if cats. Awful boy. Don't judge. I <laughs> mean, I'm judging. I'm I'm not, not judging. judging, but you know, if Cat wants to. No, that's that's not where I, that was going. By the way, not until you I'm started to talking zoo. that way. You gonna go to the zoo? Um, I wanna go to the zoo. Mm, one of your, one of your, uh, I mean, it's, it's a typical zoo. Plenty of local. Uh, uh, there's um, uh, exotic creatures there, including a space hydra. Or a Sounds space like hydra. a stupid idea. Kill? Hey. What was that, uh, Dan? Like the one we killed? When you knocked unconscious, yeah. Okay. Hey, I know your cousin. Yes. So yeah, um, obviously, no, obviously nothing from Clarion itself, because uh, Clarion doesn't have any animal life, native animal life. Uh, which you remember from the background report. Oh, did I give you the background report? I did, didn't I? On Clarion itself? Yeah. I don't may see not the story have. for no, it. I don't think. I think it was just on the Marines. No, it's just the Marines. Stack. That's right. I'll, 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 get you that, I'll get you that one. It's not, I mean, it's good background information for you, but I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Um, oh, wait, uh, no, System this. Brief White White. That's the one. That's the one. That's it. I thought uh, I'd get it. Give it to you. Yeah. yeah, we have it. It is... Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I'd give it to you. It's a lot, okay. it's a lot to read through. I'll tell you. I'll it is. Tell you in a yeah, bit. Don't, yeah, well, don't go through it now. I'm saying it's good background. It's good background information for you. That's what I gave it to you for. Uh, I just want to make sure you, you, I had given it to you. Um, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. What type of souvenirs are there? Anything good? Uh, oh well, you know, um, you've been to a souvenir shop before, I'm sure. Okay. That's what snow I globes. I yeah, snow globes, coffee mugs, tea towels, you know. I'm, I, I, I'm checking out a snow globe. I might want one of those. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, this particular snow globe you're looking at shows um, a small model of Clarion Station itself um, over a, the, the, the floor of the snow globe's uh, made to look like the planet uh, Clarion. And the uh, the station, the Clarion stations, um, uh, is is above it, and there's obviously the snow globe, the snow is all around it, all around the station. Um, so highly un, highly un, unrealistic in that regard, but uh, yeah, nice little souvenir. <laughs> when you shake it, it's not snow; it's little uh, creatures little in asteroids. space suits. No, no, it's not. It's, it, but it's, it's little flecks of white, which is what snow globes are. <laughs> which rem which reminds me, has anyone ever seen? Um, the pic early, very early Pixar animation, and I'm talking, I'm talking pre, pre Toy Story. 
um, animation uh, where the uh, the little snowman's inside the snow globe trying to get out to get to the bikini clad um, girl talking about that souvenirs. That sounds familiar to Hula Girl or something, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, with Bobby, it's the soundtrack's one of Bobby McFerrin's um, uh, um, tunes. Not that he's singing on it. He's the, uh, not, uh, but it's one of his. Anyway, just, I, I, I just, for some reason that reminded me of it when you're talking about snow globes and that. But there you go. Uh, anyone else want to do anything on the on the on the on Clarion Station while you're there? Um, only checking out the different commercial sections. Oh, yeah, as I, as, as I said when you weren't here, it's basically picture picture a, 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 um, a large mall, you know. So restaurants, shops, video arcade, steam bath, steam bath salon, which gets a lot of use from two of your crew mad, crewmates. Yep. Will I get any discounts if I go around the stores saying I'm midshipman Haskelly and this is my favorite store on the station? What's what's your persuasion like? <laughs> uh, pretty poor. Pretty yeah, then, yeah, I think that answers your question, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Are there <laughs> any later. CD parts of the station, or is it all pretty? Oh no, there's always CD parts. Of the, there's always CD parts of the station. If you, I mean, there's always a red light district. If that's what you're calling CD. Um, I mean, but yeah, there's every, no every... like black market. <laughs> Well, not that you've found so far. Are you looking for a black market? I mean, is it, let's no. put, it, put it this way. There, put it this way. There are a couple of, uh, there are a couple of, um, you, you, you do, in some of the more less travelled corridors of the station, you do come across the odd um, elixir attic, for example. Yeah, well, that's not our job. That's station security's job. I know, but that's the point I'm making is that it's not, yeah. it's not clean, 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 you know. Like any, like any habitat, there's going to be, for want of a better term, high class areas, low class areas, mid class area, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, if you want to go, if you want to go finding the illegal, uh, the illegal body mod shops and the, and the illegal brothels and that, you could probably find them. But I wouldn't go doing it in uniform, no. if I were you, for two reasons. One, one, they wouldn't trust you, and two, you get busted in uniform in a place like that, you're in deep, deep doo doo. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yes. Anywho. So, yes. Yeah, I just want, I want to go eat at the low-end restaurants. Uh, yeah. Make, make friends down there. Yeah, if you want. The diners and places like that. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, there's no problem. That's you like fun. <laughs> You're going slumming, are we? Are we going slumming in uniform or are you going slumming out of uniform? Out of uniform. <laughs> yeah, so okay, you may you do manage to locate some of the more uh down below areas of the station, shall we say, to use a Babylon five term. Yeah, that's uh, what I was envisioning. Yeah. Um in fact it's probably not a bad way of looking at it if you if you've seen Babylon Five recently or even if you've seen it a while ago. Um Yeah, the Zocalo uh, is the basic commercial area. The down below and brown areas are your slums. You know, um, not that there's any slums on board. It's too, it's too well kept for that. But there are areas where there are areas where, you know, um, the the street walkers or the corridor walkers, shall we say, are less than hygienic. <laughs> if you want to put it that way. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a dock. It's a dock. It, it's a, you know, so there's going to be dock workers. There's going to be people to service the, 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 the spacemen, the spaces, and the dock workers. And you know, whether it's gambling, whether it's cheap alcohol, whether it's sex or whatever, um, those type of things are going to occur. No matter where you are, and the stations. I mean, you know, the the marine, the Clarion Marines aren't that. Um, I mean, they're not that numerous. There's only about fifty in the. Sp there's only about fifty individuals or so in the space arm. Yeah, and there's Remember? only like three hundred of them. There's only three hundred, which includes which includes palace security on the on the planet, and and there's other stations they have to they have to look after as well. Um, you do there is a there is a marshal there is a Star Law Marshal's office on board. 
um, uh, who seems and there seems to be there's no scuttle butt around about any trouble between the Star Law and the Marines. Um, they each assist each other when necessary, but each keep to themselves when when they don't have to interact. Um, yeah, I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know what else to tell you about that. Um, yeah. Um, hmm. So, does anyone want to do any, anyone do anything special apart from try and get discounts out of merchants and overindulge in steam bars? And I just wanted to make a Mass Effect reference. I wasn't really after the discount. Oh, okay, fair. Enough. <laughs> I did get the reference, by the way. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Well, if there's nothing else... Um, oh, I'll get... I'll, I'll, I'm trying to uh, become friends with the armory guy. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, if I break something, I want to have a friend who's not going to chew me out for it. Fair enough. All right. On your uh, on your next trip out, um, um, Lieutenant Tabby uh, says to to you just after you've left left dock um, that he's going to um, allow um, those of you qualified uh, or semi or, or or at least training to uh, to handle the ship. He has, he has great confidence in you. Uh, somehow that rings hollow, but you don't know why. <laughs> Who said that? Lieutenant Tabby, your, your commanding officer. Okay. Yeah, it's just us and him and uh, a junior lieutenant. Junior lieutenant Rhonda Clast. Who's been doing the astrogation? The, the junior, the junior uh, lieutenant class, and she's going to let you handle it because it's Great. not, it's not, it's it's inter, it's intra system. So, uh, yeah. so was yeah, no one doing starship engineering then? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, the 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 two lieutenants were handling that. Uh, okay, so they were doing all the ship systems then. Pretty much. I mean, it, an assault scout's pretty easy to handle. Okay. Um, that's one reason why they're it's one reason they're so popular. Um. Although when they find out that you are an engineer, you are a you are an engineer, um, they're rather happy about it, and that becomes your shipboard duty when you're not doing when you're not doing um, boarding party. Cool. Um, so yeah. So um, if you want to give me a, a general piloting role, please, Mr. Pilot, um, under the direction of Lieutenant Tabby. Okay, I don't th I don't have a role set up for that, so I'll just give you a D hundred. Yeah, please. And am I? I'm not technically at astrogation one yet, am I? Yeah. Yeah, okay. you are. Because okay. the the machine taught us that. Uh, gotcha. Okay, you you get a, you get a you good, get a good handle on the on the on the on the uh, on the ship. You don't you realize yourself you're not you're not you're not you're not up, you're not up to a, 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 a a mid-space docking, or um, or even uh, or even a docking at the space station when you get back. Maybe you could pull the space station off. Maybe, because um, but you, but it'd be a bit, a bit hairy. Uh, but certainly from getting from point A to point B, you've got no problem um, with, with, with piloting the, uh, the 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 assault shuttle, the assault scout. All right. Uh, so uh, so yeah. Uh, Kat, you want to give me some um, again under tutelage of of Lieutenant Cast. Yeah, you you almost steer the ship into an asteroid. <laughs> Feels about right. Almost, I said, not quite. Um, she says she says you need more work. You know, it's kind of hard to get lost in system because you've got you know this big star that you can kind of always head towards at least somewhat. Yeah, but it's it's the finer it's the finer points like User actually getting. Actually getting to a particular, um, uh, actually getting User to a particular, getting to a particular um, uh, point in that within that volume um, at the right time. At the right time. 
Exactly. So, yeah. Um, and avoiding asteroids and comets and meteors and <laughs> other ships <laughs> as such. Don't go crashing into other ships. Generally seen as a bad idea. So, yeah. Um, hi, Jomas, by the way. You're still with us? Or you've, you've uh, lost he, went up, he went up to AFK and now he's in Star Frontiers. And yeah. Hang on a sec. User left your channel. User joined your channel. Anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, so yes. Um, you better give me an engineering role too, will you please? Engineering. Stroke. What do you want? Starship engineering. I... Opera operate. I... I... I'll give you a friggin' military. I don't. There's Starship Engineering just as Starship Engineer Nuclear. 1. Nu nuclear. It's nuclear. So atomic, the atomic engines. Yep, okay. So, mm. so, on day two of your tour, um, Lieutenant Tavy says to you, Let's get some let, let's get some weapon practicing, shall we, Babu? And Jazz. Yeah, he's still sorting it out. That's right. Miss Haskelly, find us a find us a convenient asteroid, please. I just found you one before. That was yesterday. <laughs> That's better. User joined your channel. You with us, Thomas? Hey, yes. Huzzah. Hey, yes. Huzzah. So we're going to do, we're, we're doing a bit of gunnery practice. So you're the uh, laser <coughs> starship laser gunnery individual. Nice. So uh, laser battery. Um, we got an we got an asteroid off the port bow. So uh, hit it with hit it with. Uh, let's see if you can hit it. Says your says the, the commanding officer, Lieutenant Max Maxatavi. It's probably a no. Probably a no. Uh, it's probably a no. Yeah. Oh God! Do you want to? You want to? You want to try again? That's a better shot. Okay. okay. All right. Next pass. So swing us around, please, uh, 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 Miss Cerise. Mr. Johnson, rockets on that asteroid. Thank you. What is the, uh, the that's just a die 100 at the level and. Yeah, it's like normal. Dexterity. Um, so it's your uh, normal actually, range. No, it's not. No, it's not actually. No? No, Starship weapons are different from memory. Unless I've got myself completely fouled up, which I have no is idea. not unusual. I'll take a quick peek, Gunnery. Are you clicking up the... Yeah, that's what guys, yeah. Yeah. It's like the type of weapon versus Reaction the type speed. of defense. Yeah, well, there's no defense, because it's pretty much so. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it's reaction speed is what it is. Yeah, that's right. So, it's, yeah, it's your reaction speed roll, please, Mr. Rocketry. Where you get ten percent for the level? Yeah. Five percent. Five percent. Sorry. Yeah, that's why five percent. Again, it's diff the starship weapons are different because of the way the combat starship combat works. And technically, we're in starship combat. Technically. But it's, I think it's not even like the base reaction speed. Yeah. Really. That's all right. That's good. There you um, go. Have you guys got the rules for starship combat? I don't think you do. 
the skills. Th they were on. The, no, no, not the skills. The actual rules. I had them on the website, but the website's still down at the moment. Blah, 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 no, blah, blah, we blah. don't have those. Oh, yeah, I might, I might see, I might email those to you too uh, after the game at some stage. I have like a PDF of the old original rule books. It's pretty close to what that is, so that'll probably do you, which is basically what I was going to go through and do the, do the PDF stuff. It's, in fact, it's pretty well exact, almost exact from memory. Um, if you've got the PDF of the old, the old rules or the original rules. Um, but if I'll, I'll send it to everybody, don't worry about it now, but I'll send it to everybody. Yeah, I'll send it out to everybody because it's something you're going to need to know sooner or later anyway. Just like you need to know how to do, you know, personal weapon combat and vehicle combat. Yeah, it's one of those things. Um, but I know it's up on the website, but I said the website's not up itself at the moment due to unfortunate technical difficulties. So, yeah, anyway. So, um, yeah, okay, so, um, yes, you managed to blow the asteroid out of, uh, out of space. Well done, Babu. Woohoo! Yeah. Bring us some pirates. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah uh, Lieutenant Taby puts his hand on his shoulder. I don't quite think we're ready for that yet, do you, Ms. Uh, Ms. Cerise? Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, that was a miss. Was it? Oh, you had to. Oh, let me no, find no, no. the weapon's you just, chance to no, hit because no. technically I got a five percent chance to hit. Uh, actually, it's not quite that way. Well, it's whatever the weapon's hit chance is, then you add eight percent to that. So if the weapon has a forty percent hit chance with your skill, you make it a forty-eight percent. Which is why I sent the rules out. Yeah. But that's okay. But it was, I mean, the asteroid technically is a stationary target. It's not trying to dodge you like a starship would be in actual combat. And it's not got it, it hasn't got any defenses. So it's pretty, it was a pretty easy shot, but it's a good practice shot anyway. Okay. We happy with that? Woo, yes. <laughs> you would be. Can I power down the weapons right as, like, someone's about to shoot? <laughs> what was that for, Cat? It was an accident. I okay. went to my push to talk and I hit the hit track the wrong button. <laughs> hit the wrong button. Okay. There you go. But I was going to make the joke that I'm sure Starship combat works like physical combat. We shoot, we miss for about 20 minutes, and then somebody <laughs> hits, and then somebody dies. That's and it's probably like us. That. It's not quite that bad. Where is it that you're finding the, uh, what you add to the, uh, that damage thing you were talking about? Um, so if you go to the email with the, uh, background reports on the Clarion Marines, that has all the, uh, Starship skills. Ah. Uh, if you need me to forward you that, I can do that. Actually, I already did. Yeah. Yeah, the one I forwarded you, that one has the skills underscore gunnery dot htm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at that. I, it's, uh, in the other, improved... it's in the other stuff I've got, to sell, I've got to send you. Yeah, it's in improved accuracy. That's what I'm doing, since that's what you would be improving. Mm -hmm. But Matt has the actual hit chance of the weapon. Which I'm going to send everybody after the game yeah. via email. Yeah. All right, okay. all right. Just trying to locate stuff so I can find it later. No, that's cool. I understand. I understand. As I said, it's normally up on the website, but the website's not up at yeah, the moment. Yeah. Mm, pain in the ass. Um, so, yes, there you go. Uh, oh, pardon me. Sorry. I'm burping at you. Um, so, um, next day, you've got um, another uh, a, a whole size five freighter. That's the um, small freighter, by the way. Um. Uh, the Dark Shadow. Um, another another cargo inspection. All right, Jazz can uh, see how it's done. So we all board through right there. That's the airlock. Uh, he hasn't got the map up, I don't think. If you open map freighters underscore small, map freighters small. Okay. The blue one's the small one. The green one's the large one. Where there's those and three doors. That's yeah. the airlock. Go ahead. By sorry. the way, this 
that's right. I said, by the way, the small the small refers to the size of the map, not the size of the freighter. <laughs> yeah. I've got a big. I've got a. Big, I've got a. I've got a map that's um, about four times the size, but it's about eight times the size in terms of megabytes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is why I didn't bother sending it out. So yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. So what they've been doing is that uh, Cat's been staying by the air, by the airlock as per regulation. Uh, standard operating procedure. Um, Voke and Babu have been heading up to the bridge to look at the ship's log, and um, Doc and yourself, Jazz and Cerise, have uh, are all wearing spacesuits. Uh, you and go, you go and check out the cargo in the uh, cargo hold. The cargo hold is normally um, uh, kept in vacuum. It's no no need to have it uh, pressurized. So they don't. They don't normally. So once you get into the, once you come down the lift and get into the, the airlock on the cargo deck, there, um, basically you 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 suit up and you, you seal up your suits and go in, um, and do it. Now you're allowed. You, um, you're, you're wearing um, your uniforms, which are military skin suits. Um, you are carrying a standard sidearm. Your standard issue sidearm is a laser pistol. You may swap that for one of the other types of pistols if you wish. Um, uh, on, and not on a per mission basis, but on a permanent basis. So, for example, I think Kat swapped her laser pistol out for a for a, a vacuum fit, a vacuum uh, adapted uh, auto, auto pistol. Auto pistol. Yeah. And yeah. I have a sonic yeah. stunner. Yeah. Um, so um, that that's your standard. That's your that's your standard issue. Um, when you're on mission, um, you can also, in addition to that, you can also carry um, uh, a, a ranged weapon of your choice and a melee weapon of your choice, um, all provided to you uh, by the Marines, by the Royal Marines. Um, you also can carry uh, three clips of ammunition or two belt packs for each weapon that requires it. Um, and two of you also are, can also carry grenades. Uh, Babu take carries, normally carries two frag grenades. And Cerise is normally normally carrying a uh, tango grenade and a I don't know what the other one was. Doze. A doze grenade. That two belt packs thing is another thing where this game is completely biased to laser weapons oh, being it is. very overpowered. Ooh, and I regret cool. all of my previous character choices. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I don't know. Actually, where? More than one belt pack at a time. I never knew. I always assumed we could no, wear. No, 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 no. You you can't wear more. You can't wear more than one belt pack at a time. Oh, belt but pack. Yes, backpack. You only wear one. Um, I think you can. I think it's possible to fit four belt packs maximum. Um, <laughs> as, I, or I'm you just seeing jazz like. <laughs> or you just be a dralocyte and you just you know make a bunch of different. You make a bunch of waste. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Um, yeah, the belt packs. The belt yeah. packs are um, they're, they weigh they weigh a couple of kilos each, but they're only about I think what are they ten by fifteen by five? I think they are something like that. Centimeters. Wait, so, so you're telling me that Jazz all these decades had not realized that he could wear more than one belt pack at a time? I don't know. I don't know what Jazz realized. If that's what Jazz, <laughs> that's up to Jazz. I, I mean, I it's, the fir it's the first time it's been asked. Next mission, <laughs> Jazz is like wearing like belt packs, like bandoliers. No, like, that you can't do. Over his chest. <laughs> no, that, that you can't. Well, no, 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 that's, you that's, that's the truth. Yes, you could do that. You could do. You could do that if you wanted. No? I mean, you have you, to I roll mean, a chance for when he gets shot if he blows up. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but I mean, um, when I was in, the, when I was in, I mean, anyone in the military, when I was, we were going out bush, you'd have uh, two water bottles, one on each hip, two ammo packs. Um, which are about the size of your belt packs, one in front of each water bottle, and a bum bag, big bum bag, plus your backpack, plus the extra water bottles on the backpack. Um, that was a standard load. Um, so, as I said, this, yeah. Um, if you want to start wearing bandoliers, that's a whole other issue. But yeah, there's no reason why you couldn't. Um, but you only put one back. You only put one power backpack on at a time. Yeah, I assume the belt pack was. The same way, so you only wear one belt. <laughs> yeah, you only wear one belt, but you can put more than one belt pack on a belt. 
Yeah, I assumed it was one belt pack was all the way around the waist. Like no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, think of think, think of a, think of a large think of a large mobile phone, a large right. mobile phone. <laughs> right, it's just hanging off the belt. Got it. Yeah, it's hanging off this the belt. Is, yeah. This is this is a revelation. Yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> we're halfway through this campaign and you just realized. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Mind you, if you're wearing if you're wearing a um. It gets a lot more difficult to juggle things if you're wearing a body comp as well. Right. Let me All ask right, this then. If I have like four belt packs and um, a weapon attached to it, or no, actually a screen attached to it, once one belt pack dies out, do I actually need to like spend time yeah, you, to switch yes. it? Yes, you do. Okay. okay. You got to you got to unplug it, unplug and replug it back in again to the new one. It seems like a business opportunity there. <laughs> yeah, just, they've tried. They've tried, and there. apparently it overloads. Oh yeah, and one more yeah. thing: you, uh, the cargo hold inspection team, you guys then search the crew quarters once you're done yeah, with the cargo there. hold. Yeah, which is how you found the drugs last uh, two two ships ago. Yeah, we found a mm -hmm. drug user who just had one vial of drugs. He wasn't smuggling, but you know. Uh, so anyway. So yeah, um, so that's that's what that's the standard operating procedure. That's what you that's what you normally oh, well that's what you're allowed to carry and things like that. So um, I'm assuming it's a sonic sword for those who use sonic swords. Um, I don't know whether the battle axe um, is an appropriate uh, the force axe is an appropriate thing to take onto a ship, Babu, if you're not actually boarding it as such. <laughs> oh, I just use it as a swagger stick. Right. It looks Sorry, pretty much as similar to Sonic Sword, doesn't it? Or maybe not quite. No, not quite. No, it's a. It looks like a stun mm -hmm. stick, like a baton. Yeah. Uh, screens. I mean, what way? Once. Uh, no. Sc no screens are issued. You can wear a screen if you want. It's up to you. Are we no allowed to wear two? No, you can't wear two screens. Okay, then I'm gonna wear an Albedo one. How about a bandolier of screens? No. They interfere with each other. So none of them work. Well, like I only turn one on at a time, but you know, type no, you no. <laughs> now you only wear one screen at a time. You anyway, can carry around the second one in a backpack, though, right? You can carry the second one in a backpack, yes. If you're but strong you've got enough, to... if Jazz is <laughs> strong enough. Oh well, Jazz gonna have to do something about that, yeah, aren't you, Jazz? Anywho, so yes, um, you're met at um, you're met at the at the airlock um, um, via um, uh, um, uh, pardon me, uh, two yeah, individuals. I just need to interject. We we had an earthquake here, so if I drop off, you know why. What for real? Yep. Wow. You okay? Uh, yeah, but you never know if it's like the precursor or whatnot. Just, just right. interjecting. Yeah, no, that's cool. You can't, you're you're awful, awfully blase about this. <laughs> well, if they build the structures in Japan more... Earthquake proof, yes, I know. Yeah. Anyway, well, uh, if, if we lose you, we lose you, but let's hope we don't. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, it's a, a brusque female and a Zirian male. Uh, meet you at the um, at, at the door, at the door, at the airlock door, uh, and hand over the um, they hand over the the Museum mail hands over the um, um, manifest. Man, thank you, manifest. God, I'm I'm shocking today. I can't think. Um, and apparently uh, the uh, the dark I've lost the name of the ship now. Dark shadow. The dark shadows. Um, I was about to say the dark aster, but that's not right. <laughs> The Dark Shadows uh, uh, carrying um, um, uh, maintenance bots, robots. Well, that's going to be fun. Why is it going to be fun? Oh, just the record we have with robots, yeah. Oh, God, you're a lot of paranoid. You're, as bad, you're getting as bad as the, as the other group. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Um, so uh, yeah, crew of, a crew of eight, um, um, and uh, and yeah, 
So are you hitting the bridge and you're heading to the to the thing? Yeah. Hitting the, yeah. Okay. Standard procedure, yeah. Standard procedure. Standard operating procedure. All right, well, um, you get to the bridge. Um, um, the um, captain uh, uh, greets you. Um, 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 yeah, Captain Greasy, um, and um, uh, shows you the log as per normal. Um, the log looks pretty, pretty, pretty clean, pretty A-OK. -okay. And he's not lying about anything. He looks so pretty A-OK. Okay. So close, Yeah, it's going to be hard to get closer than that. Well, it's an automatic success, basically, but, you know. But that you really should stop it. You really should be dropping that down the tower, but that's okay. Um, uh, I'd have to redo that again because you can't grab it. All. Okay. Yeah, no, it's cool. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Um, yeah, uh, everything, everything appears to be A-OK -okay on the bridge. Um, yeah. Um, and in the cargo hold. Um, there's Ready about there's twelve, there's twelve, there's twelve crates, um, each uh, supposedly containing a. Okay, fine. Um, each containing uh, uh, labelled as a maintenance spot. So you, you, you three guys in the cargo hold want to give me two search rolls each. Search. And you have my um. My ex and my Well, we have a sorry. robo cast too, so we have the. Yeah. Did you um, answer the question each? about screens? Are we allowed to wear screens? Yeah, you know, wear them. Then the, 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 the Marines aren't going to pay for them. That's okay. We got. I don't understand. <laughs> We've got so many. Yes, I know. Terrible, 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 terrible. So, yes. Uh, Cerise, can you come to the private room, please? User left your channel. Oh, I gotta pull up TeamSpeak. User left your channel. So my search is not showing my values. It. Your what? Well. I roll my search, um, and it shows like 25 minus 30, 17 minus 38. Oh, I see, I see. No, never. Okay. I think actually I haven't updated my character sheet since we did the uh, that respec machine deal. Yeah, your scores might be a little lower than they than they were, but let's pull up my let's adjust my character spreadsheet and work my character sheet on fantasy grounds. Even though I'm trying not to hear what's going on, I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> I have my headset on, but I can hear exactly what he's, what Matt's telling him and what Please he's doing. Your channel. Well, maybe if, if Ben sings your lullaby, then you won't hear. <laughs> yeah. I'm certainly not going to do it, so I'm just volunteering Please for Ben. Talking to myself for five minutes without realizing I was all alone. <laughs> Don't say anything to anyone. Can I have, and this, I'm going to have to split you guys up in a second, so give me a sec. Can I have um, 
um, Doc, Jazz, and Cerise all over the private room, please. User left your channel. User left your channel. User left your channel. Whatever could it be? You don't think it's the robots, do you? Now I know what it is, but... <laughs> I, it's, don't worry, we're not going to be murdered by robots. Dead. Matt Them being dead. <laughs> yeah, Matt wouldn't keep doing that over and over and over. At least not this time. To see them down in the cargo hold, in the woods exterminate. Uh, I yelled, and then they're all burned. Or, actually, are you are you too young for Doctor Who? Uh, like maybe when I was like <laughs> eight, I watched a few shows just because you know my parents were watching. I know yeah. that there's the the begins with the D, and they're the little robots. I don't know why he does what he does, but. Well, yeah, they're the Daleks. Daleks. And, uh, yeah. They want to destroy the... something or other. Yes, well. Yes. You, you have to watch that more. But yes, they uh, very much are about exterminating all other non robotic life forms. Yeah. I mean, no worse than the Geth in uh, Mass Effect. User joined your channel. Um, can I, uh, again, sorry to be a pain, can I get Babu and Voke over to private room 2, please? User left your channel. Channel switched. User joined your channel. Okay. Um, can I get spot checks off both of you, please? Okay, um, both of you note uh, that the uh, four members on the crew, the four people on the bridge, uh, four, three, three people on the bridge, the captain, um, the um, Yazirian, the Rusk female, who, um, who uh, got her arm in a sling, actually, by the way, I should have mentioned that, um, and uh, the Rusk male who was up on the bridge, um, uh, all, um, um, all seem to, to give a little start. Um, and then um, all three of them um, uh, draw out weapons um, from various hidden locations um, and um, go to attack you. So I need initiative rolls off, off you both, off you please, both of you please. We get the fun one down in the cargo hold. They just have one crew member to take care of. No, you don't get the fun one. Cat gets the fun one. Oh, Cat does get the fun one. Oh man. Hang on. So don't panic anyone and stay here for a minute. For a moment. Um, so 12 for Voke. Yeah, I, I heard why they're doing and this because, you know, he's... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. But... Uh, and Babu got a six. Well done, Babu. All right. Um, and um, that's the captain and the pilot and the female rusk okay all right um now um are you guys going? Are you go, apart, apart from defending yourself from atta attacking? Is that what all you guys going to do? Is going to attack back? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hold tight. I'll be back in a sec. User left your channel.
Might be easier since we're all in combat for matches to do this all at once. I think we're all in combat. User joined your channel. Come on back to the main room, please, guys. User left your channel. channel. Switch. User joined your channel. There we go. Okay. So, um, I have everybody's plans, plans of action and things like that. Um, um, and when everyone's going to have a have a go at acting, so let's get this let's get this combat on the on, underway. Um, the Yazirian male in the cargo hold has first action. Um, and um, let's see if that happens. Percentile dice. Uh, tries to go frothing at the mouth, but does not succeed, um, and simply charges Cerise. Uh, with the sonic sword. Um, and misses. Geez, you're lucky, sir. You're lucky there, Cerise. Yeah. Uh, Jazz, now you've just seen this happening. Or uh, What are you doing, Jazz? Um, Jazz will likewise try to froth at the mouth. Okay. Well, actually... Um, well, okay, he's right up on top of Cerise. Yeah, so Jazz will froth up, or try to froth up. Uh, one second while I find the battle reach. Uh, there, there it is. Oh, I thought you were going to make that for a second. <laughs> I honestly <laughs> thought you were going to make that for a second. Okay, and so um, yeah, yeah, you're attacking, uh, you're attacking this uh, Yuzirian yeah. male? So draw a sword and, and attack as well. Um, if I can position... Opposite series. I know series. Uh, attacking, so there's not, no re not not really because of the cargo or where the crates are and things sure. like that. Okay. Um, so yeah. So just you know, plot sword and attack as well. Uh huh. Oh, that's a hit. Nicely done. So. Ooh, that's a pretty high roll. Damage. It's a pretty high roll. Um, um, question, that's, a heavy, does, that's, a, that's a heavy wound, but go on. Yeah, how does how does the spacesuit kind of factor into this? Does it seal itself? Does it? Nope. Not. Nope. <laughs> okay. No, it doesn't seal itself. Um, you have you have you have you, the, every spacesuit comes with I think two or three, and the, I'll check it in the rules in a second. Um, two patches. Flat patches. Two patches. Thank you. Um, comes with two patches, but they'll only seal a hole up to ten centimeters long. Or ten centimeters wide. Now, a laser blast. Um, most most projectile weapons uh, will be will be under that size, um, but slashing weapons can open up, really open up. And again, depending on how big the tear is in the suit, is how quickly it, it uh, the suit depressurizes. We're talking we're talking turns, not we're talking rounds, not turns. Okay, so okay. fighting in fighting in star fighting in space suits is really dangerous. As you're about to find out. I, I should have just shot you from a range instead of uh, trying to be chivalrous and, and kind of help Cerise up close and melee. Well, hey, anyway. you cut a pretty big hole in his suit. Possibly. Um, in fact, you roll me D10, roll me D10, halve it, round down, and add five. If not, you did. You put a pretty big hole in him. So, D10. R divided by two, round it down. So one, add, and add five. And add five. So six. six. So he's got a six centimeter hole in his suit, this guy, from your sonic sword. Okay. Hang on, I've just got to find my... Where, what have I done with it? Enemy wounds, there it is. That's what I'm after. Got to keep track of who, how much damage you've done. Otherwise, that would be unfair, wouldn't it? Well, we could just... Ignore the damage done to us as well. So it'd be completely fair. No, we won't be doing that. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, the oh, that's what happened. The captain. Um, um, slashes out left-handed with a sonic sword at at Voke, who's nearby. 
and with his right hand, yes, I'm putting penalties in, um, shoots um, a, a, a burst off from his automatic pistol at Babu. So we'll do the sword slash first. Uh, misses completely. Uh, but the burst at Babu... Uh, hits you, Babu. Oh, man. Um, for 36 points of bullet damage. 36, okay. so 18 by the skin suit. Yep, that's right. Uh, the, the male Rusk, who was on the bridge... Um, pulls out a gyrojet pistol and fires, um, pardon me, at Babu um, twice or three times. Three times. Uh, the first shot hits. The second shot misses. And the third shot critically hits. Okay, so the first shot does three points of impact damage. Um, the second shot does 14 points of impact damage. Yeah. And I need you to make me a current stamina roll to stay awake. Unless you've got an automatic stim, a stim dose on your computer. I don't know if he has a body count. No, that's what I'm thinking. So current stamina roll, oh, stay awake. How much was the second one? Se 17 Four, points? No, 14 points. Oh, seven, okay. Mm -hmm. And the current stamina roll when you're ready? Yep, oh, one minute. Well, while you're doing that, the brusque female on the bridge draws a electro stunner out from her sling and fires at Broke. Hits Luke. Um, what's that, 46? Is that right? An electro stunner? Yeah, I forgot to take the modifier up since I actually used the stamina. Mm, current right. stamina. Good. So you should be right then if that's the case. Yep. Good. Um, yeah, electro stunner. Do 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 do. Electro stunner, electro stunner, forty ten. That's right. And a a a a means set on stun. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so twenty four points of electro stun damage. Uh, now that uh, is not that's a gauze screen. Yeah. So you said twenty um, what? Twenty four. Two four. Two. Twenty four. Gotcha. Uh, um, Voke, you can retaliate if you wish. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go against the Electro Stunner one. Mm-hmm. Even though the captain's right beside you. Captain's the one shooting and with the Sonic. So yeah, well, the captain mm -hmm. went... Oh, the captain did go for me. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll try to position myself around the block line of sight, and then I will go ahead and... Well, there's no... Well, look, there, uh, there is no block line of sight, really, on the bridge. Really. Yeah, I suppose. Ah, uh, I miss. And you miss. Wow, what would you have to hit? Oh, you did. You rolled a 71. Wow. That's shockingly bad. Okay. Doc, back in the okay. cargo hold. So, um, asking kind of standard questions, just because I'm not sure what the answer is, right? Like, That's cool. Um, is there a way to um, pump atmosphere into the room? Do I have to, like, get over the door control? No. No, the cargo hold's too big. They don't, they don't ever 
that, that they never have. Um, sorry, I won't say never. A standard cargo, a standard freighter, never never um, pressurizes the hull. That pressurizes the cargo deck. Um, okay. There are specialized freighters that do have pressurized cargo decks, but they're more expensive, and that, so no, there's there is no way, there is no atmosphere. Okay, um, I want to hit the fire alarm. Uh, there is no fire alarm. It's vacuum. Really? There's no fire. fire. In space is pretty dangerous. Yeah, but there's no vacuum. There's no air. It's burning. Yeah, but the ship doesn't have a fire alarm. <coughs> okay, well, if it does, it doesn't have a fire alarm. Um, the ship's got a fire alarm, but there's, but not here. There's well, no fire sensors. Here. There's no fire sensors in the cargo in the on the cargo deck. There would be one inside the airlock. But you guys, okay, are, I guess that's where I'll head to then. Ah, so you're heading for the airlock, right? Cool, got that. That's all right. I'm sorry, but I had a coughing fit. Um, you can do that. No worries at all. Babu, being shot from several directions. Yeah. What are we doing, boy? And I've been hit from several directions. I'm. Pissed, you have. So. <laughs> you're pissed. <laughs> all think... right. Well, don't forget. Don't forget. Um. Uh, Voke is over next to the, in basically effectively in melee combat with the captain, more or less. Um, the next closest one to you would be the female Vrusk and then the male Vrusk. But the male Vrusk didn't shoot at you. The female Vrusk did. The female Vrusk did. That's fine. I'm going to do something I've very rarely done before. I'm What's going that? to shoot her with my auto pistol. Cool. Yeah, you, you're doing one shot, one, two, or three shots, um, and are you, or do you want to do a burst? Yeah, that's kind of new to me. So. Okay. Well, you, you, each shot can do one d ten points by itself. All right. Um, whereas a burst, you use ten bullets and you get a five d ten roll if you hit, and you get a plus. Plus what to hit, mate? Your bed. Do you remember? Twenty. Plus twenty. Yeah, plus twenty to hit. With a burst, so you use more bullets but do less damage. But per I bullet. think I will if control you have... my burst and do single shot. A single shot? How many? You can you can take up to three. Uh, you can careful oh, aim two, with two, one just shot. To get the but... feel of it. Yeah. Yeah. There's no penalties for going with three. The only benefit of going of shooting less is when you shoot one to take a careful aim. And don't and forget, I you've only got set that up yet. That's all right. It's okay. Don't worry about that. All right. So is that your base uh, range attack plus five percent per level? No, ten for ten for small ten arms. Ten per level. Yep. Oh, that's going to be sweet. So half your half your decks or half half your decks plus ten plus ten per level. Half decks. Why is my yeah. range base 35 then? For what? Because you range didn't base. update your, um, when you, that I shot lowered. It. Yeah. Because you had so many stats get lowered, you probably didn't update uh, it. So. 45 yeah. then. Yeah, that sounds better. So, uh, and then I said, if you take, if you take a burst shot, it's an extra, it'll be an extra 20 on that, should be 65, but that's up to you. Nah. Three different. Three separate shots. Okay. All right. Cool. So is that die hundred? It's D one hundred. Forty five. That's what she is. Yeah, hmm? I, I, I lost it when I dropped it on the bar. Yeah.
So you're right, babes? <clears throat> oh, so close. Okay, so all three shot, all uh, three of your shots miss. Yep. Yeah, every, and it, the uh, map was just a little bit over the, uh, the oh. top bar, so every time I dropped it, it would just disappear. Oh, let me, yeah, drop it on the map. Yeah, move the map. <laughs> That's right. All right. Um, when you read, when you read. Well, yeah, but I'm doing all this, and I'm having to retype it every time. I know. I know. I know. Cassaries. So do I need to stick with what I thought I was going to do before, or now that things have happened, can I change? Uh, no, you need to do. You still need to do what you need to do. That's why okay. I got, a, got everyone up. That's why I got people up front. Because because what you because what you're about to do is going to have an effect on somebody else. Yeah. So Cerise calls over the comm uh, smugglers. All right. And then if if she can still she dodges. Well, yeah, yeah. If you want to, you can dodge. Yeah, certainly you can dodge, fall back, dodge out of the way. No worries. Okay. <laughs> After the attack, shots fired, so we got smugglers. Jets yeah, well, don't forget, this, this, is all happening, this is all happening in six seconds. It's all happening yeah. in six seconds, remember? All right. So, now, um, I'll get everyone to roll in issues again for me in a second. Cat. Cat. Ben. Yep. Ben. Are you calling for Cat or Dan? No, Ben. Benjamin. Cat. Okay. Wonder, we've, wonder what's happening. All right. It doesn't make a difference. We'll wait that later. Um, so if you guys can give me an issue, that would be fantastic. Let me load up the track, the combat tracker. <laughs> Cerise is on a nine. Um, Babu's on a ten. Vogue is twelve. Vogue's on a hang on. Vogue's on a twelve. I've got to find Vogue. Vogue's, Vogue's on a twelve. I don't change. Doc is sixteen. Doc's on a sixteen. Jag and Cat. Cat are both eight. All right. Now you're back, Cat. Can you talk? Hear me? Yeah. Um. Right. Now, um, I know you said you're going to die for the lift, and that's fine. I'm assuming it's the lift up. You said to the bridge, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, look, while as you read, this is what's when as you start diving for the lift, okay, um, the um, the door into the cabin B. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Opens, um, and two humans. Um, carrying um, laser pistols, and uh, you can see you can see vibro knives hanging from their belts. Um, come out of that room, uh, and they are going to be attacking you. Okay, um, you can still die for the lift, and you can still fire back if you wish. Oh yeah. Okay, but let's get this. Let's let let me do the rest initiatives for these guys, um, and we can we can get that sorted out. Okay. So the Nigerian male is on a um, sorry. Ah, there he is. Wow, that's he's not going to survive, I don't think. Uh, the captain is on a and the uh, female Rusk. Is on a well, it doesn't change, and the male Vrusk is on oh, that's piss poor. That is
Right, that's everybody loaded in. Let's get this second round under underway. Doc, you have got first action. Um, you have reached the airlock in the the outer airlock door or the inner. You reached the first airlock door in the um, in the cargo hold. Okay, so what are my options? Uh, there's an open button hand. Uh, there's an open and they basically you know open 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 the airlock door or close the airlock door. So no emergency, no intercom, anything like that. Oh, there's, an, there's an intercom on the door, yeah. No emergency button. No emergency button here, no. Okay, I guess I'll open the door then. Okay, so that'll be out by the end of next round, uh, end of this round, okay? I guess so, sure. Oh, okay, end your turn when you're ready, Jazz. Uh, well, Jazz is really Jazz is. Uh, you didn't update Jazz uh, initiative. Jazz will oh, didn't I? this round. Yeah. Oh, didn't I? Sorry. I was like, wow. Well, yeah, no, that's right. I, I, I didn't. Uh, so in that case, it's the Rusk female, not you, Jazz. Sorry. Uh, the Rusk female was shooting at Babu, I believe. Yep. Uh, three times. Is that right? Um, no, once. She's got the electro stunner. That's what she's got. Uh, that's a miss for her. Um, now the guy who comes out of the out of the uh, cabin B on the uh, on the crew deck um, lines up um, with his laser pistol um, at you, Cat. Are you wearing a a screen? Yeah, an albedo screen. You are. Um, fires twice, once hitting you, uh, and the second time missing you. Uh, and the screen, or you, or the screen take uh, 21 points of laser damage. Uh, yep. The captain, again, swings wildly at um, Voke, uh, hits Voke, and also uh, fires a second burst at Babu, and hits Babu. So I'll do Babu first. I know what the damage is on, on that. Um, 34 points of impact damage, impact damage, Babu. 3, 4. Okay. Sonic Sword does 4d10 or 5d10? 5d10. 5. And the Sonic Sword does 26 points of damage to you, Voke. Okay. Speaking of which, uh, just as the sword strikes you, you can strike him. Because it's simultaneous. Hopefully, nope. No. <laughs> Not with a 95. End your turn when you're ready. Babu, are you still conscious? I'll take that as a no. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. Another stamina roll? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I'm still at. I still got some hit points. That's yeah, cool. What do you want to do? Shoot that dang rusk. Uh, burst or three shots or less than three shots? Three shots. Mm hmm. That's uh, ten percent for each level, right? Yeah. Okay, so I probably hit a couple of times last time, but I ain't worried about it. I fixed it. Okay. So it's half your dex plus ten percent per level. Okay, that's a hit. And that's a hit. No, that's a miss. And that's a hit. I can actually find out. Let me scroll up through yeah, the log here. That's I can a find bit it. Better. So that should be two die D or two D ten damage. Two D ten damage. Actually you hit all you hit all three times last time too. No, no, you didn't. You hit um No, you only hit, you only hit once last time. 
So uh, 3d10 damage total for both last round and this one. So it's a total of 24 points, five, nine, and 10. So, hang on. Female Frusk. Um, right. Um, okay, end your term, you ready? And you've got, uh, you've used six rounds out of your 20. Okay. Cerise. Can I force axe him? If you've got your force axe with you? Yeah. Yeah, by all means. Oh, you are so lucky. Oh, yeah. Hooba, booyah. Okay. Uh, he goes down. And there was just the one in the cargo, cargo hold. Cargo right? yeah. Yeah, okay. And then uh, I'll end, move end towards your turn. the airlock. Well, you'll end your turns once you'll do, but anyway. <laughs> Jazz, you're up. Uh, Jazz seeing him go down, knowing his yeah. suit is probably sliced open, and we're in a vacuum. Uh, Who's suit? Jazz Yours? Is... Sorry? Your suit? No, his suit. The, oh. guy, the guy who just went down. Yeah. So Jazz will uh, yell out to Doc and say, um, Doc, we got to get this guy out, be back, stabilize, whatever. Uh, and then Jazz will start dragging him towards the, the airlock that Doc is uh, opening up. Cool. Cat, when you're ready. All right. Um, so they're in, are they in burst sort of range? The two that came out? If you look at the map, you're at the, um, you're at the um, elevator door. They're five meters away. Maybe six. So yeah, they're in burst range. Which deck are the rest of? We're on two deck. Well, one group's in the cargo hold and one's on the bridge. Nope. No, it's three. And cat's by herself on the crew deck. Yeah. So I'll I'll put a burst on them and then uh, jump into the lift. Okay. So this is without the bonus, but... Mm-hmm. That's a hit. And the second one. Why would there be a second one? Second roll. Oh, no, it's not. You get both of them, don't you? No, you're going to make a second attack roll for the second guy. Okay. Don't you? I thought yeah, the you first was one roll. No, you're right. No, it is. It is only one roll. Mine's like, sorry. Yeah, burst, yeah. Uh, um, so, um... Yeah, uh, so they each take 32 points. No, they no, each take half. 17. Uh, they each take 17 points. 16. 16 points. Come on, maths is out. Each one, 16. And dive in the rift. Is that what you said? Yep. All right, no worries. So, uh, the male Rusk, who was shooting at uh, Vogue, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with the Gyrojet pistol. First shot. Hits. Second shot, misses. Third shot, 
Oh, well and truly, Mrs. Okay, so um, that's 13 points of damage, impact damage. 13, okay. Mm -hmm. um, he's dead, so I can take him off the list. Uh, which will mean he's go okay. Um, okay. Well, normally the next guy would uh, attack um, Cat, but Cat's not in invisible sight because Cat's done a runner into the lift. So Cat's um, Cat's. Um, uh, so he's not going to do anything, right? I mean, we both. Uh, I begin. So. Uh, um, that's an issue, please, people. For round three. Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, that yeah, bad that's really bad. Mine. Three I'm on five. terrible when it comes Catch. to combat. On 11. Well, 2 1 so far in initiative. Vokes on a six, Babs on a twelve. Uh, Doc's on a ten. Where are you, Doc? I never find you on the list. I don't know why. Oh, there you are. And Jazz is on an eleven. And the captain. And the two other people on the bridge. Uh, um, and uh, what did I say? Doesn't change. Um, right. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, just out of interest, uh, have a guess what the female bust's name is. Cerise. Uh, Cerise. I'm, I, I, I kid you not. Cerise Kazoot. Um, no, obviously. Um, so that's an electro stunner at um, Babu, I believe. If she hits, if she hits. How you going, Babu? You still alive? Not after this. Uh, yeah, I just missed. Yeah. Oh. I just missed. You missed, and I'm still alive. Yep. Uh, speaking of which, it's your action. Three more rounds. <laughs> well, you aren't you are you you you're under zero, are you? What's that? What how, how many damage points do you currently have? Uh forty three. Oh, okay. Good. Now when you said three more rounds, I thought you might have been bleeding out. No, no. Three more pulls of the trigger. Oh. Well, actually, technically four, because you, you got more. Actually, yeah, you got more than that. Anyway, uh, you're up, Babu. What do you want to do? I'm doing it. There's the three rounds, all three hits. Oh, well done. Uh, so 3d10 damage. One more. Did it actually take? Oh, no, there, there. there. I, I couldn't see the third die, that's all. Wow, good rolls. Um, all good. All good. And you, Cam, you ready? Jazz, what are you planning on doing? 
Now, you're dragging the body towards the airlock with the dog. Um, the airlock door right. is open by now, too. So what are you doing? I drag the body into the airlock. Okay. And yell at, uh, well, and, and yell at Doc probably saying, like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Can we save this oh. guy? Should we save this guy? <laughs> well, you worked it out in the moment. End your turn when you're ready, please. Cat, you have arrived on the bridge deck. When the lift door opens, you can see Voke and a human male um, in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The human male has a sonic sword and an automatic pistol. Sonic sword in the left, in left hand, automatic pistol in the right. Um, you cannot see uh, Babu or anyone else. All right. Okay, so what do you want to do? Um, uh, and is, so the one that Voke is engaged with is in melee? Pr uh, yeah, pretty much. You, you, it, it's, it's, if you're thinking, you, you bur if you're burst shooting, you're going to hit Voke. If you're, if you're just shooting, um, you can, you, you can hit, probably hit the uh, guy without too much trouble. Or you can enter melee yourself if, with them, it's up to you. Is the uh, guy wearing a skin suit? Uh, no, he's in civilian. He's in a civilian jumpsuit. All right. Well, then I'll flick my uh, uh, my needle or pistol out of my uh, little wrist, little latchy yep. thing, yep. Uh, and try and shoot uh, the civilian. The captain. Oh, the yeah. Oh, he's got cap he's boat. got yeah. he's got captain's bars on his on his uniform. So yeah. Yep. Go for it then. Okay. Uh, the needles the needles bounce off his his uniform. It's got a civilian skin suit. Okay, it's cool. A civilian skin suit. Um, do you want your second shots? Uh, I don't think the needle has them. Oh, no, it doesn't either. All right, that's your turn then, I believe. Is that right? Uh, Doc, so you are at the mouth of the first airlock door on the cargo deck with Jazz and the guy, the Yazirian who attacked you. And Jazz is going, save him, or something to it, words that effect. Yeah, I'd like to delay until after Cerise. Sure. Uh, what's Cerise's? So I'll put you down as four. Thank you. That's all right. Uh, the captain, the captain, the captain, the captain uh, swings his sonics. Uh, uh, hang on, I'll, let me see if I can pull this off. Yes, drops the sonic sword, quickly quickly flips the, um, no, drops the pistol, quickly flips the sonic sword to his right hand and attacks um, Voke with gusto. And misses. <laughs> After all that. Um, yay. yay. Uh, the, bra the rough pilot was attacking, um, you with the gyro jet pistol, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. So, um, Kat, you see, um, three gyro jet rounds, uh, streaked towards, uh, Voke from the, in effect, coming around the southern side of the lift. Yep. Okay. So the first one misses. The second one hits. And the third one definitely hits. So the first one does 12 points. And the second one does 7 points of impact damage. Uh, invoke, you're up. Uh, sorry, uh, do, 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 do. Okay, well, I went to zero and then I immediately got hit with a stem dose. So you're back on 10? Yep. 
So I'm back to 10. I will swing at the captain. Okay. Uh, let me see. Do, do, do. And fail again because I can't hey. roll lower than 71. No, you can't. Cerise, um, your, your fellow crewmen are at the airlock door. What are you doing? Yep, I'm headed into the airlock. I want to get All upstairs right. I, as quick as possible. Right, okay. So, Doc, you wanted to, to delay until now? Okay, is Cerise in the lock? Cerise in the lock. Jazz is in the lock. The, the guy who attacked you is in the lock. Okay, closing the door, and then right. I can open the other door, but... Yeah, well, I'm assuming Jazz would have started that the minute the, door, minute the other door was closed, but yeah. Cool. All right, is that it? Uh, well, can I do something else? Uh, depends what you want to do. I want to take a look at this injured alien. Well, he's a Gazerian, but okay, go for it. Yeah, a quick diagnostic, a quick diagnostic roll, you know, or you can get in, but you can get in. Well, okay, but so Cerise... Um, no, nah, he's dead. Yeah, uh, he's dead. K he's dead, dead. Baby. He's dead, dead. Okay, that's the new round. So a new initiative set from everyone, please. Cat's on a nine. And Babs is on a twelve. Yeah, and Doc's on, a nine. Doc's on a 9. Doc's on a 9. And Cerise is on a 14. Um, and Jazz is on a 10. And Voke's on a 10. That's everybody. Apart from the bad guys. Okay, so that's for the captain, and you, might, you guys might actually survive this if you're lucky. Possibly. Okay, so let's kick this off. Uh, Cerise. So, um, the airlock door is the inner airlock, inner, inner airlock door is cycling. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, ready, ready, ready with my force axe. Cool. Babu. She, oh. uh, that brush still the same? Uh, the brush, the female brush has been hit, but she doesn't seem to be particularly wounded yet. Uh, all right. Give her three more then. Okay. I'm surprised you haven't charged her by now, but anyway, that's me. Uh, one hit. No, that's a miss. No, it's a hit. And that's a miss. And that's a hit. So 2d10. Okay. Um, I guess are we just like listening to elevator music as the airlock is cycling? Yeah, well, not elevator music, uh, airlock music, but yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Vogue? Vogue! Sorry, there's... I was someone wanted to talk, yeah. Okay. Finally. Hmm, so, good one too. Yeah, 28 points to the captain. All right, with a sonic sword. Yep. Yeah, and I need to make a oh, sonic sword. Yeah, I need to, I need to make a... a oh, i got to work that out now. You bastard. Um, stamina is that. Stamina, I can't tell. I need to roll. Captain goes down. All right. Cat. You've just seen the captain, uh, the, the captain uh, go down from a hit from the a sonic sword by, um, by Voke. You you saw the gyrojet 
pistol, a go jet shot's come around the side of the um, the side, the bottom side of the the lift. There's also uh, what uh, an auto pistol being fired um, from somewhere on the other side of the lift. What do you want to do? Uh, I may as well just run after the one with the gyro jets. Yeah, so you go, you go in the top of the lift or the bottom of the lift? Uh, let me look at the map. Uh, the top of the lift. You go in the top of the lift. Okay, smart move. <laughs> uh, so when you when you get around the top of the, get around the top of the lift, you can see um, in the south west direction, for want of a better way of saying it. Um, Voke is uh, sorry. Babu is standing there with an auto pistol in his in his hand, firing at a female Yazirian who has a um, electro stunner in her hand. Uh, you can also see a male Rusk um, with a gyrojet pistol. Um, in his hand. Uh, do you, who do you want to? Do you want to charge one of them? Do you want to um, shoot at one of them? What do you want to do? Yeah, I'll just charge the one with the electro stunner. Uh, she, is, she is the closest. Yes. Yeah. Whack it okay. with my sonic sword. Cool. Go for your life. Um, yes. <laughs> oh God, you are lucky. <laughs> For 14 points. Could have rolled better, but that's all right. Whoa. Uh, let's make sure she's, yeah, okay. She's now heavily, she's now heavily wounded with that hit. This is going to be fun for you guys, I'm sure. Um, and end your turn when you're ready. And I take it you are, um, you are uh, waiting for the uh, airlock as well, Doc. Is that right? Yeah, I'm hoping the door is open. Not yet. Wait me out until the end of, end of this turn. Uh, do you want to do anything before? You want to do anything real quick before you end your turn? Well, is there a fire alarm on this side of the door? Yes, there is. Okay, I'll hit the fire alarm. Okay, the fire alarm. The the, the ship's fire alarm goes off. Everyone can hear it going bleep 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 bleep. Um. Which I hope, it, which is good for everyone, I'm assuming. Uh, um, it's the captain who's gone down there. So, yes. Uh, so, uh, the Vrask uh, turns um, and uh, puts a single gyrojet round in towards Cat. And hits Cat. For 14 points of impact damage, Cat. Mm -hmm. uh, and the female of Rusk also aims at you because you hurt her uh, and misses with the Electro Stunner. Um, so, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. Um, so uh, that's an end of round. I'll get initiatives off everyone, please. Eight for cat. Twelve for Voke. Eleven for Babu. Uh, Eleven for Jazz. I could have done worse. I don't see what you would you roll. Uh, six for Cerise. Yeah, that's with the plus four. Mm -hmm. Ten for Doc. Um, have I got everybody? Jazz is on eleven. No, no, twelve. Ten. Six. Cats on eight. Right. So uh, the two guys on the bridge, because the captain's down are on uh, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and um,
Okay, let's get this show on the road. Uh, so the hmm, okay, the uh, pilot, the Rusk male on the bridge, um, drops his gyro jet pistol, uh, pulls out what appears to be a stun stick, and charges at Cat with a stun stick, which is going to be useless because you've got an anti-shock implant, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm, I missed anyway, so bugger. Voke. I will go at the one with the gyro. The one, no, that one just dropped the gyro jet, right? Yeah, he's got. He's, he's now. He's now in melee combat with um with cat. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go after the rusk female, the one with the yep. stunner, the electric stunner. Yep, who's also in technically in melee combat with cat, but that's okay. Ah, sorry, cat. Oh, shit. Hang on a sec. Let's see. Cat, can you give me a reaction speed check, please? Dice are not kind to me tonight. Okay. Um, the wild swing from your from Vogue misses his target and almost takes your head off, but not quite. Uh, the Rusk female uh, shoots at you, Voke, because you just try to take her head off, uh, and hits... A point blank, huh? All right. Mm, which is what? Four... No, that's... 40-10. Yeah, 40-10. Uh, 17 points of damage. I drop. Mm, I know. I thought you might. Uh, Babu... Alright, is uh, Voke and the Rusk female in melee now? Uh, Voke, the Rusk female, Cat, and the Rusk male are all in me are all in melee together. Although Voke I is just fell. Yeah. And what about the captain? Uh, he's on the ground as well. Okay, then... Can I release the pistol and grab my force X and join them? Uh, who are you attacking? The male or the female? Oh, I have a thing for that female. She, she, took, <laughs> she hit me too many times. Fair enough. That's a hit. And she's down. Okay, so end your turn when you're ready. Jazz. The airlock door swings open. And then, uh, so Hang then on. we see an elevator. Yeah, and, well, and the elevator door opens at basically the same time. Inside the elevator are two human males armed with laser pistols. <laughs> All right. Um, let's run right up to, well... I guess they, for purposes of uh, distinguishing the two of them, they're the same. Human one, human two. Um, yeah. Jazz, uh, jazz in fact, sorry. In for it, in, there you go. They're on the, they're on the combat tracker. Um, jazz will just go up to the to the nearest one and swing a sonic sword at him. Well, they're both. It's, it's effectively they're, they're side by side. So, which one do you want to shoot? Which one do you want to swing at? I'll just swing at one. Cool. Swing at one. God, you guys are lucky. Some of you are lucky. Oh, that's a heavy wound. Heavy, heavy, heavy wound. In fact, no, that guy's actually um, goes down. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Doc? Uh, I'll delay till after Cerise. Okay, I'll put you at five. And that's then. a five. Yeah. Hang on a sec. Uh, what have I done? Babu, now you've gone, haven't you, Babu? Sorry, we're down to yep. that one. Okay, um, the human male takes two shots at Jazz at effectively point blank range because you're scared to live in the hibbage. Hibbibibibi, Jesus, out of him. That's a hit. Another hit. 
The first one does 18 points of damage, laser damage, and the second one does 20 points of laser damage. Okay. Cat, you've got a female brusket lying effectively at your feet. You've got a enraged, well, not an enraged baboo, but a pissed off baboo beside you, and you've got a male rusk in front of you. I will attack the male rusk with my sonic sword. Cool. Uh, what's a hit, obviously? Uh, Twenty-three points, not bad. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, still not heavily wounded. Um, no, okay, you've taken him out, haven't you? Uh, where are we? It was Cerise. So, um, yeah, in the in the lift, I think we're going up, right? And no, then, um, no, 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 no. You didn't hear what was happening, did you? <laughs> Jazz is currently uh, just taking out one a human male in the lift. There's a second human male in the lift, um, uh, shooting at Jazz with a laser pistol. Oh, then I'll run in with my force axe. Cool. And miss completely. Yep. Okay, Doc. Okay, can I uh, let the vacuum of space into this compartment? No. Airlock. The 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 northern most airlock door is open. The southern one won't open without the yeah. The airlocks have got a fail safe. Only one door at a time. But if I put the body in it, then you wouldn't be able to open the other one. All right. I guess uh, I'll pull the body into the uh, pressurized area. The lift area. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that. Okay, um, so initiatives again, please, guys. Someone got a good roll. Uh, Sarah's got a pretty good one, too. Cats on a nine. Jazz is on a 15. You guys are all going to go pretty pretty early this round, looks like. Everybody, one, two, three, four, five. Who am I missing? Oh, Voke. You're, you're down, aren't you, Voke? Okay. So, the guy on the bridge. Uh, one, nine. <sighs> Uh, the human is going to be dead before he gets a chance to act, looks like. Right. Babu. All right. What's my situation with these guys now? Um, you've got a male brusque in front of you. The pilot. Yeah, the pilot. All right. I'll take a swing at him then. The, the female is down, right? Captain's yeah, female, down. Fem yeah, female's down, captain's down. And do I see the human male? Uh, what's he, no, he, no, he's on, he's down on the, he's down he's the cargo deck. Okay. Yeah. So you got the only one you've got in front. Of, the only one you can see is the is the is the pilot. For a moment. <laughs> How's that look? It looks pretty good. You want to do some damage? He's not dead. The shame. Yeah, he's not dead. Jazz. Um, with both Jazz and Suri swinging up, uh, well, going up against male number two, is yeah. there any way to get attack from behind, or is there no space for that? No, not really. Okay. 
Uh, Jess will just swing the sword again. Uh-huh. And just misses. Yeah, just misses. What a shame. Doc, um, do you, do you want to delay? Are you doing something or what? Yeah, um, I'll delay. Okay. I'll put you until, until unless you tell me otherwise. Don't forget, you, you can jump in whenever you need to. Cerise? X. Yes. Yes. Cat. All right, I'll take another swing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he goes down. Um, shooting at, um, Jazz. Uh, hits once. Misses once. Uh, 21 points of laser damage. Doc, you back up again. Yeah, I guess I'll make my way over to the elevator. Uh, mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, there's really nothing for me to do, so. Okay. Uh, in that case, guys, better give me some initiatives, please. Uh, vote. Lose another stamina point. Please. Uh, hang on, where did they start? Uh, Kat, why have you rolled twice? Mistake? Yes. That's all right. I'll take the first one. Which is a shame because the second one was better. <laughs> so Jazz is on 15 still. And Babu's on six. Babu, 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 Babu's on six. And Cerise is on 13. And Cat's on eight. And Doc's on 16. I'm assuming you want to you wait, Doc, I'm assuming? No, now that I'm up front, I may actually try to do something. Okay. Um, so the captain's down. Um, and that's right. The human's still alive. Uh, so we'll eat as well. Okay, let's go through this. Doc, you, you are up and you are first. You have first action. Okay, I'm going to pull the standard. I'm rolling for his legs. Okay, um, I'm going to need um, a dex check off you uh, to start with because um, it's pretty cramped conditions. Right, okay. Um, uh, you better give me... How did we do this last time? Was a reaction speed check, wasn't it? From you? Uh, I rolled or an attack with a melee base. Oh, yeah, attack roll. That's right, attack roll for you, please. Actually, give me two, will you? And they're both exactly the same. Um, Jazz and Cerise, can you both give me reaction speed checks, please? Coming. Uh, Cerise, um, in the cramped quarters, Doc actually takes you out as well as the other guy. So you and Doc and the human are all lying on the floor of the of the uh, of the elevator, more or less sprawled and and whatever else. Um, I need you to roll me a d10 for damage, mate, for in for falling. And while we're doing that, how many stamina points do you have, Doc? Uh, I'm negative seven. All right. Yeah. Uh, a D10, thank you, Cerise. A D10? Oh, sorry. Yeah, D10 damage for the fall. Uh, seven points of impact damage. So if you've got a skin suit, it'll take it'll take half. Yeah, half yep. from whatever. 
Uh, Jazz, you are up. Um, you've got your target on the floor in front of you because Doc's just taking the legs out from under him and taking the legs out from under Sharice as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> just, just, this is SOP right now. Yeah, just knock him. Knock, I'll hit the guy while he's down. Okay. Down. Okay. Rolling for bad guys. Rolling for <laughs> bad guys. <laughs> Oops. I assume that's still in this, though. That's still a miss, but you've got two other people on the ground in the melee league. So let me just roll some percentile dice and see um, what happens. No, it's not me roll some percentile dice. Oh, okay. Uh, no, that's fine. You, may, you, didn't, you, did, you didn't hit anyone else either. Cerise, having been um, taken to the floor by your colleague, what are you doing? Can I stand up and uh, four sacks the guy? Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'll get you to give me a reaction speed check for the four sacks part of it. Okay. Yeah, no, you, no, you can certainly stand up. You can't force act him. Okay. Okay. Um, shooting twice from the ground at Jazz and misses twice. Cat. Uh, do we have comms back to our ship? Yeah, of course you do. Now that she's got a moment, she might just call it in to our superiors, uh, saying that we're under attack. Uh, looks mostly under control, I think. Cool. Uh, but we are under attack. Yep. Uh, okay. And if she's she got... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's probably her turn. That's bad. Yeah. Babu, what do you want to do? Everybody's down then. Everybody's down, including Voke. Okay. <laughs> I think I'd probably hurt him if I tried to help him. Oh no! You can both you do a quick. If, if, if he's got a slap patch on him, you can stabilise him. Basically, it's a quick first aid stabilisation if you wanted to. Yeah, I'd, I'll do that and start calling over comms for a Doc. Okay, Doc, you're getting a call from Babu about Voke. Okay. Um, at the end of the round, um, sorry, that's one too many. At the end of the round, um, the you hear the lift doors open, um, Cat and uh, Babu. Okay. Uh, and I'll get initiative from everybody, please. Cat's on a nine. Jazz is on a nine. <laughs> wow. Um, oh, that's pitiful. Okay, so Doc, you're up. Okay, so we're in the lift, right? Uh, you're in the lift, but there's enough arms and legs and, and all that going on. That you haven't got the door closed. In, in effect, the fight's going on more or less in the doorway of the lift, and it's keeping the lift doors open. Okay, well, I'm still on the ground, so I guess I'll stand up. Cool. Anything else? I want to try to kick him. Yeah, go for it. It's a straight melee roll. Unless you've got my class or something like that. Brawling, whatever. Uh, no, that's a miss, mate, I'm afraid. Uh, Cerise. Axe, axe, chop, chop. Axe, axe, chop, chop. <sighs> okay, with that critical failure, your axe actually gets dislodged into the wall of the of the lift and it's jammed. Okay? Okay. Uh, shooting twice again. 
Uh, two hits against you, Jazz. That's uh, seven. Actually, no, it's not. Sorry. Um, 19 points. And 35 points. Okay. Of laser damage. Babu and Jazz, and, or Babu and Cat, you're both going the same time. I'll give you, I'll get, jump back to you in a second, Jazz. Oh. What about the captain then? He needs to be trussed up and uh, he does. stabilized. He does. He? You did, he does. You did hear the lift doors open, though. Oh. Okay, then I'd stand with my force axe. Who's there? Anybody? Okay, Cat Jack. Cat, what are you doing? Because this, hap this is happening simultaneously. Uh, she may as well, because she's on the other side of the lift, right? Yeah, yeah she's on the west side of the lift. She may as well run around with her north sword or, in hand. North or south side? Uh, I went north last time. Let's go south this time. Okay, going south this time. Okay, when you get round to the uh, when you get round to the to the side of the lift, there are you see two humans um, uh, with laser pistols. All right. What do you want to do? You got you, you got you, you may attack one if you wish. Yeah, I'll attack one. Which one are you attacking? Uh. Whichever one, it doesn't. I guess whichever one's closest. All right, hang on a sec. Uh, that happens to be number three. That's a hit. Twenty-five points of damage. Uh, number three is heavily wounded. Um. So, Jazz, your go. Jazz will swing at number two again. Okay. That's a hit. And you haven't killed him. Hmm. Uh, cat, you can go. Um, human four shoots at you twice, Cat. For a miss and a miss, human three shoots at you twice, cat. For a miss, oh, for God's sake, and a miss. I don't believe that. Uh, lose another, oh, now you, yeah, now you are, you're right. You don't lose any more stamina points, vote, because yep. they trust you up as such. Uh, so that's an issue, please, guys. Thirteen for Doc, eleven for Babu. Thirteen for Doc, eleven for Babu. Five for Cerise. Uh, Fourteen for Cat. Uh, and eight for Jazz. So everybody, it is. Uh, and the two, the three human. Ah, the three humans. Are on. Okay, Cat, you are first. All right, she'll attack the same one. Mm hmm. That's a miss. Sorry about that. Doc. You're going to try and kick him again? The lift stand up? Kenny, no, Kenny, yes. Has he? No. He hasn't. Okay, I want to stomp him. <laughs> okay, same thing. It's, a, it's an attack roll, mate. And you miss. Babu. Um, cat's obviously in some sort of combat at, at, around at the lift there. What are you doing? Babs? Babu. Can you hear me now? Got you now. Okay. I don't know what I, I must have scratched my head and hit that <laughs> damn button. That's okay, good. I'm going to move to the uh, lift and assist uh, Kat if I can determine what help she needs. 
Well, she's got, she, there's two humans armed with um, laser pistols. Um, one of them is um, one of them is bleeding from a um, a, uh, a sword a sword um, attack. The other one's perfectly fine. Do you want okay. to attack one of them? Presently fine. Okay, that's number four. Did too much moving. Cat. Yeah. You better give me a reaction speed check, mate. When they roll critical fails, I've got to do something about it. Now you you dodge you dodge that one as well. Um. So yeah. Okay. Um. The the guy in human two. Um. Let me see if he can pull this off. He can pull it off. Uh, human two um, drops his pistol, reaches into his pocket, pulls out a doze grenade, and sets it off. So I need current stamina checks off the dock, Jazz and Cerise, please. thought I was in my suit. Oh, yeah, you guys are in your suits, aren't you? Yeah, they never yeah. unsealed. <laughs> oh, in that case, in that case, sorry, in that case, um, um, it's not a doze grenade, it's a, uh, it's a, because um, he would have seen you in the suit, he wouldn't have pulled the doze grenade for that one. Um, he pulls, in fact, in instead, a frag grenade. So, reaction speed check, please, guys. Um, the guy, the, <laughs> all right. Wait, he's he's blowing himself, himself up? Yeah, he's blowing himself up. Oh, he's suicidal. Okay. Well, he's going to die anyway because he's, he's you're busting him for smuggling drugs and attacking a attacking a, a marine. Right, right. <laughs> and he's got two hit points left. <laughs> so he's going to take you bastards with him. Okay. So what's a frag grenade? Eight D eight D ten, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, so this is for Doc. You got a skin suit, Doc? Yep. Okay, uh, it's 51 points of fragmentation damage. So 25 to the, 26 to the suit and 25 to you. Except he made his save, so. Oh, in that case, halve that again. So it's 20, hang on, 20, 25, uh, 25, it's 12 to you and 13 to the suit. Yeah, it was only me that didn't make it. Oh, okay. Why is it always you who never makes it? Because my reaction speed's horrible. And he's okay. the pilot yeah. who needs a good reaction speed. <laughs> uh, seven to you and seven to the suit, yeah, uh, Jazz. Okay. That didn't roll. Let's try that again. That's going to leave a mark. Um, 15 to the, to you and 16 to the suit. Um, Cerise? It is actually possible for this guy to possibly survive. But didn't. <laughs> but didn't. Uh, Jazz, you're up and your, your, your target is um, painting the walls. Right, so he had a skin suit, and he had just possible that if he, if I'd rolled only eight points of damage, he would have survived. Just <laughs> I lied about the two hit the two points of damage remaining. Um, so I hit the uh, I forget which everyone else is on the bridge, right? We hit the button on the elevator to take us to the bridge. Well, take you to the crew deck. Oh, crew deck. Because it's, it's a separate lift to the bridge, remember? Ah, right. Okay, so um, hit the button to get to the crew deck, and then we'll yell on comms, like, 
you know, uh, status, uh, what's everyone's status? Mm -hmm. And I think that's about it. Uh, 29 points of laser damage, Cat. 29, yep, cool. Um, and 19 points to you, Babu. Three fire like damage? No, that's laser. Laser? Mm -hmm. 14 points? 19, one nine. 19. Mm -hmm. So the, that would be four points from the Abedo screen? Yes, yes, that's right. Four energy points for the Abedo screen. Uh, Cerise, you're currently uh, about to ride up in the lift. Uh, anything you want to do during the ride? Uh, just ask Doc for a quick first aid. Um... You can do that. Doc, you want to do that? Because you didn't do anything, did you? Oh, no, you stomped on him. You have to, you have to wait until next round. But you can certainly ask. Um, so you better give me some initiative guy, initiative rolls, guys, for the next... Actually, don't worry about the three in the lift. Just Cat and Babu. Okay? So Cat got a nine. And Babu got a 12. And the two humans... Skinhead face stomp, yeah. Uh, are on. Uh, so. Just mock you guys, I'll set off the list. Um, so, human four. Um, swings his pistol in a club-like fashion at Babu. And misses. Which pisses me off. Babu. Pisses Babu off, too. So he swings back. Um, and by the way, over the comms, over the comms last round came um, a status check, re uh, status check request from, um, sorry, uh, from Jazz. Just thought I'd mention that. That's a hit. He goes down, mate. And I would say grenade in the lift and Well, you don't know about grenade in the lift. Right? Tango is down. All right. Uh, number three swings at Cat with his pistol in a club like fashion. Ah, gets you, cat. Uh, Fifteen points. Fifteen, oh, all right. Yeah, one five of impact damage. So skin suit will take half, you know. And you're up. All right, I'll swing at it. Mm-hmm. You hit it. Will you do enough damage to kill him? Yes, you do. Awesome. Um, what are you guys doing? In the, what are you guys uh, now? The, the lift at the end of the round, the lift door, lift doors open. Did you want to do that first aid check um, that uh, Cerise asked for, Doc? Yes, I would. Yeah, so first aid away. Okay, a bio court and ten points back, Cerise. Thank you. Um, jazz. It, while the, while you're riding the lift, did you want to do anything? Uh, yeah, Jazz will first aid himself. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're, you're a medic too, aren't you? <laughs> back up. Medics, Way medics, medics. Back up. <laughs> Way back up. Way back up. Oh, dear. Uh, so, uh, buy a cord out of your, out of your uh, first aid kit and 10 points back to you. Okay. So, um, the doors open up at the end of the round. I'm assuming you're going to spend the next round moving to the other lift and going up in the other lift. Is that right? Yeah. 
Okay. Meanwhile, the guys on the bridge, what are you two guys on the bridge planning on doing? Uh, probably just uh, responding back to Jazz, saying they're all neutralized up here. So you hear that? Jazz gets a little excited and said, how many did you get? Oh, uh, like four or something. Jazz goes, damn it. I got two. Okay. Um, look, um, you make it to the... Uh, uh, assuming you two, you, you two were staying on the bridge, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. So uh, a few seconds later, the bridge, the lift doors open and... Um, Actually, it's more than a few seconds because you've got to clear the lift of the body so the lift can go down so these guys can get in and come back up, which I'm assuming is what you do. Um, eventually, everybody's up on the bridge. Um, obviously, some people look worse for wear in terms of damage, including uh, Voke, who's on the ground. Uh, so, yeah, probably need to go to Voke. Um, so, while... I'm about to wrap this up if people are keeping an eye on the clock, but that's okay. I just want to, I just want to get this last little bit done. Um, I'm assuming, Doc, you're going to be you're going to be doing first aid on people who require it, require it and surgery on people who require it. Yep, triage. Triage. Uh, well, Vote's down. I know, but I don't know what the others are on. Yeah, I'm I'm okay for the moment. Uh, Jazz is fine as well. Okay, well, I guess we'll get some first aid, right? Yep. So, uh, first aid. Okay. So, 10 points back. Vogue, you're still unconscious, aren't you? Or you, or you, you come around? Unconscious now. Okay, fine. Cat, do you want to do anything at all? Read the computers? Uh, not this session. <laughs> I gotta okay. go. <laughs> all right. No, that's cool. All right, that's it. Here's a good place to leave it, guys. Um, we'll pick it up there. Um, that's fine. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. Um, yeah. and um, you can get those credits rolling and I hope everyone enjoyed it and thanks for watching people thanks for playing and we'll see you all in a fortnight's time well that's it for this session we hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did we'd like to thank Smiteworks Sirenscape and Twitch and of course all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years I'm Dulux Oz and on behalf of the entire gaming group we'd like to say thanks for watching We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.